good. All right, and welcome here to the Alan Lua Box Field, which is in the bathed in beautiful sunshine. Joined on the commentary by uh, Lachlan Williams. Welcome, mate, to your home turf, or should I say welcome <laughs> to me? No, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, absolutely wrapped to be here. It's um, been fantastic to see plenty of great Victorian box cross here the last couple of years, but to see the country's best gather here at the Alan uh, Lua Court. It's, um, yeah, fantastic to be here and, uh, you know, should be a cracking contest tonight, that's for sure. Well, look, uh, any time the SA and Big V come up against each other, it doesn't matter, footy, cricket, uh, you know, bowls down the local club, there's <laughs> always a little bit uh, more to uh, be had. And uh, we've just got a... We're, we're sort of just in the warm-up period. The sun, as we can see to our right there, uh, like you go, or to the left of the camera, is uh, just setting, and it's uh, it's setting in a really awkward position because it's a beautiful sun, but uh, a little bit of controversy here at the moment, just on the uh, vision. Yeah, if you're a photographer, I think it's pretty much perfect. This is uh, what they'd call golden now, I reckon, but uh, for a lacrosse player, probably not ideal right now. So um, as it's pointing towards us, we're on the, the player box side of the, of the field. Um, if the play, if the ball were to come out this side of the field, there's an argument to be made that players might not be able to see the ball. So, um, you know, there's discussions going on right now that we hold off. Uh, probably it's wouldn't. only going to be a couple of minutes. Uh, isn't yeah, it? exactly right. So, um, but the other the other talk there was about the vision of players. So, yes. they're not necessarily the ball, but you know what? Yeah, uh, Sam, it's a, a physical big game. Train winding <laughs> up for you. You know what? And there's some uh, there are some uh, rather well toned lads out here who uh, I don't want to mess with uh, <laughs> in light or darkness. Yeah, exactly so, right. Um, but on the game, obviously, this is Victoria's uh, first game of the of the tournament. South Australia getting a big win over Queensland yesterday, about 29-7, I believe. Uh, but looking down the list of the Victorian team, mate, uh, there's plenty of uh, representation there, and you know a lot of these boys uh, exceptionally well. Yeah, it's hard to think of a, a stronger boxed side that's really possible to put together, to be honest. There's maybe one or two names missing, but... Uh, yeah, you look at the likes of it starting down back. I'd expect Blake Watson to probably start between the, the pipes. Yep. Um, he had a great box season. Um, there's the experienced campaigners, Caleb Hall, Darren Ricketts, Dan Meant to play, Keith Nyberg. Keith how long has he been Nyberg. around for? Yeah, I was just um, saying he's the only one with the name on the jersey out there at the <laughs> moment, and there's a reason for that because he should be seen. Exactly right. And I think plenty to be excited for, for Greg Mollison, the coach, as well. In There's a few youngsters out there. Oh, you look at Toby Luke Templeton, at... Luke Parsons, Quinty I mean, I, su I was lucky enough to be over in the under-23 team over in South Korea, and Lucas Parsons Quintao hit this bloke off about three steps from the Chinese <laughs> Taipei, and I reckon he woke up thinking that he was playing for Japan. Yeah. <laughs> he was... Uh, He's a big body. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be strapping yourself in if you see him coming down the line <laughs> yeah, well, tonight. Well, and I think that's why they want to get over the yeah, sun. That's it. Because so, uh, if you don't see Lucas Parsons coming, uh, you're going to uh, be on the other. But on the other side here, uh, South Australia... Coming off a really big win, Jesse winning. Plenty of goals, always seems to find an Australian player. Yeah, definitely. Um, he's, uh, he's certainly there. But And there's a couple of others, James Mullins and uh, and the and some of the old crew, Nathan Twisk, uh, Connor McGee in the cage. He's, he's a big well, he's a big plus for the South Australian side. Sammy Kilford not here, who normally represents South Australia. but And Brady Williams in the cage. He's been a stalwart of South Australian across and even in the local league. That's fantastic. And... Uh you know, if you were to bring up two, you know, powerhouses of box lacrosse in this country, oh. it would be these two states. Yep. So, you know, it's uh, it's you know, fascinating what we're about to see out here. Just uh, the starting lineups about to get out there. So that sun still hanging around, but just uh, dying down. So it's it's Chris Plum, Caleb Paul, and uh, out there in the forward half for Victoria, uh, Lockie McDonald in the middle, and uh, looks like Keith Nyberg and Al Glutenay down back. Who we got? Uh, well, Cam, Adam, Cam, Cam, Cam Adams uh, in the face here. So he's uh, obviously legs have uh, been freshened up since yesterday. He's also one of the co-coaches. Ball kicks there to Caleb Holt, who gets the first opportunity. Looks down and uh, misses the cage there. But uh, South Australia will return in the way of James Mullins. Little bounce pass to Winnan. Winnan has Leeming. Leeming uh, with the MVP of the first game. Pops that one out to the bottom corner, which makes it really hard for us. And But I tell you what, freight train, we <laughs> talked about it. You see uh, James Mullins uh, coming to the party there. Yeah, plenty of uh, opportunity for these players to make an impact early. When the ball and the man's there to, to be found, they will uh, not take a backward step, that's for sure. So uh, Cam Adams with the ball at the top here. As we see uh, green, that is the Anthony variety coming on. Two greens in the team. One Michael, one Anthony. And uh, mum's over there as proud as punch that she gets to go to one tournament and see both her sons. So winning, 
he doesn't mind firing them early either, just quietly and winning uh, doesn't let me down as that ball is up and over and uh, comes down there. So it's gathered by Plum there. So he's going to fake the pass, go across the top now. Marcus Aaron Battis, that's a, another young player to keep an eye out for. Big left-hand shot. He's got the cut coming across the top there from Mentor Play. Fakes a shot there. Now just resets. Back to Aaron Battis. Gets that lefty shot off. Good save there. Rebounded. So they'll get a full another 30 here, the Vicks. Mentor Play on the rebound he's got. Plum at the top again. And they're going to look for the isolation. They do, but... Good team defence there from Jesse Winnan to make the slide. Feed inside to Travis Kroll, the experienced campaigner there. Backed up by Tim Ratchy. And how many times have you seen that, uh, Tony? Just well, normally, normally you either see the one coming through there or the big bombs coming from outside. <laughs> I've seen plenty of that over my coaching career with South Australia. As uh, Winnan just tries for the uh, little one, kick that one off and, and get off as we see Nathan Twist come on. You see Coyne up the top there with the ball. And that sun just getting down in the uh, right spot at the moment. So Leeming kicks it in. One-handed there. Ball needs a shot. Two seconds in the shot clock. Good defense there from Victoria. And they turn the ball over and back into the defense, back into the offensive end for uh, for Victoria. That's your man there, Lucas Parsons. Quintia oh, doing the job, uh, what, Tony. So. If I had a man crush, that would be one uh, <laughs> where I would uh, put my money. And just while uh, we're transitioning the ball forward, just a, a little heads up from... Uh, ALN zone, Tim Kennedy. Powerhouse is his reminder that Western Australia are the reigning champions, so for three more days at least. So uh, just a, a little uh, heads up on that one. Good it's save. Timmy Timmy, just uh, showing, uh, showing some arrows there, but uh, <laughs> we just will uh, remind him that uh, the current champions uh, did get beaten by the LA Presidents 10-9 uh, on the first day. Uh, but I, know, I must say, we just saw the LA Presidents play and they uh, just beat uh, Queensland 12-1. So... Um, I think they might be uh, a little sneaky. Yeah, I'll, I'll, that'll be interesting to watch over the next couple of days, that's for sure. As the shot clock down to five seconds now, Jesse Winner just has to fire one off, and the shot clock will beat the South Australians here. So it'll be Victoria that come away in possession. Very up and down game at the moment so far, Tony. You'd expect that uh, early in this game, as I said. It means a lot to these two teams, and it doesn't matter whether you're playing field lacrosse, box lacrosse, or soft lacrosse. You know, if there was a V and a, and a, and a red, white, and blue out there, you'd... Uh, You'd have some uh, tension, and uh, but early on, it's uh, and it's always the way, isn't it? In these big games, the person, that, the team that settles the quickest, uh, and a goal seems to do that in the box game, as we see Winnan come down here with Twisk on the outer side, but uh, Glutene there, I oh, know Plum, sorry, just uh, holding that one up, and Anthony Coyne just up the top, Winnan just fires, they're subbing, Lehman just coming off. And uh, Jesse just uh, probably not what the team really required there, and it's back in the uh, offense for Victoria. So just a couple of miscommunications there, I think, on the, the subbing end from South Australia. They're just taking a little bit of time to settle into it, but uh, the Vicks will take possession forward now. Hall is going to look to distribute from behind. Finds meant to play up the, cross, up the top, back to the left, onto the right. Shot misses again, so rebound from Coyne. And he'll bring it down, uh, and uh, there's a man that you don't normally take on, but he's done a, he's taken the body well there. Fired it at the keeper. Keeper with a big save. Coin Wait. again with the ball. Takes a check. He's, uh, I'll tell you what, if he was in the ocean, there's plenty of blue around him. <laughs> and uh, coming back the other way as we see Ratchy come on. Uh, Freeman keeps carrying himself. He had Ratchy out there with the one-on-one, -on -one, but decided just to settle and the call is out there from Plum, the, a leader out there. Not a captain, but definitely a leader for the Victorians. Ten seconds now on the shot clock, so they're going to have to pull the trigger pretty quickly. A little fumble there from Aaron Batis. Is this going to open up for a one-on-one? -on -one? He's done well there, Marcus Aaron Batis. What's the call here from our referees? Uh, just... I think there was some discussion reset. around I, it. Back I and thought, forth. Or? Now they're just... I thought they were looking to reset there. The finger came up, but uh, not to beat. And uh, time clock runs out. And Timmy uh, just asking the question politely, as Tim only would, uh, exactly what that was all about. <laughs> so Twisk kicks the ball down here to uh, James Mullins. Mullins with the ball up the top. Finds Winnan. Kicks out the back to Adams. Looking for a little one, two-man game there, but not, not really getting together and rolling off these two mans at the moment. So 10 seconds, five seconds left on the shot clock and uh, just gives it up to the keep and back to uh, Victoria it comes. Coming back the other way. And now For they are away, the Victorians. Oh, oh, I thought they were. Kayla Paul had plenty of space there but just couldn't quite reel it in. Who's going to come up with this grand ball? It's the experience in Travis Kroll. Now he finds Hall. He's um, got Templeton at the top if he wants to use him. He does now. 
over to Reynolds. Nice so little piece there. Ten seconds, five seconds on the shot clock. Oh, oh gets inside. From Tyler Fantastic. Reynolds, a nice finish there from Tyler Reynolds. He was a leading scorer in this uh, previous box across season in Victoria. Tony, for a reason, well, that's, can, that's a classy can, finish there. You can see why. Sometimes you don't have to uh, pull the bullet out of the gun. You just have to place it. And uh, you know what? Great cut inside. Gets the ball. Fake. Pops just over the shoulder. Or just not that it's over the shoulder on this keeper. But uh, just on that right-hand side. And away we go. And uh, we've got a uh, we've got a score on the board, mate, after a bit of up and back. So uh, so that's uh, while one in the middle there from Aldred. Works to his left. The big body keeps going himself, Aaron Aldred, but just dispossessed there. Well won in the middle from South Australia, but the Victorians keep the forward pressure on. They're good enough to get it out of it here. Coyne, he got past Hall once before, but he can't do it again. Caleb Hall's forced the turnover, but he's got a sea of red in front of him. There's 5v1 at the moment, oh, so he's going to have to say, tell. where's the hell? There's a, there's, oh, I thought he was going <laughs> to unleash the beast, but uh, thought better of it. And uh, obviously uh, an, an Australian uh, go. Sharks member. Is uh, Lucas Pastors good tout and uh, doing a bit of shooting uh, practice with the Sharks, I believe. But Adams with the ball now has Winnen. So you got Winnen, Twisk, Leeming, and down the bottom there is uh, just can't see with our our view. So that's anyway. Sorry about this, but uh, <laughs> where we're situated, there's just one little dead spot, and there's a fight. Oh, there we go. Nice James Mullins, there, or shall we call him Air Mullins <laughs> with that attempt. Oh, hello. Yep. And that's what we love. Just the, the ability to take heat in this game is amazing. So, He's Victoria, opportunity. And you should see the smile on Lucas Parsons Quintia's face as he runs toward the box there. He absolutely loved that one, as is his teammates. Plum now. He's going to try and weave some magic in there. He saw James Mullins down the other end. <laughs> and uh, Brett Williams says, how about a little knee <laughs> massage just to make sure that those rib pads are on? That's it. Yeah. And don't you, you know, that's that's box lacrosse. Just, it's hard, it's tough, it's physical. And you do it with a smile on your face. So 1-0 here. The way of Victoria. Josh Wood, a.k.a. Frodo, out there for... Uh, for South Australia, we've got Green. Green on the other side, 10 seconds, kicks up to win and win and as said. Oh, look, that's just like shell and peas. He yeah. literally just, uh, just. Simple save there for Blake Watson. Looked like a baseball catcher. That's right. And uh, for any of those that would have seen Blake Watson play before, he's definitely a confidence player, so not one that you want to get a few early looks at. Uh, the more he saves now, it's the harder it's going to be to beat later on. I'm going to take him great picking if he can uh, grab him like that. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm going to have a nice bottle of wine in no time if he's uh, picking him like that. Exactly right. Kroll, he finds Caleb Hall. Nice little stop there. <laughs> and again, <laughs> there's uh, <laughs> Brett Williams just saying, mate, uh, see this see this circle. That is, that is mine. As uh, Anthony Green on the outer side. Kicks it there to Nathan Twisk. And uh, Twisky just sees uh, Mullins, one of his left-handed compatriots, as Tyler Leeming down there. So plenty of uh, pressure here from the Victorians. They seem to be cutting down the South Australian clock time. They're, we're already down to seven seconds, and we haven't really had a, a clear look. But as we say that... James Mullins coming to the open party. On the crease. I'll tell you what, he tried Air Mullins first time, taken <laughs> off from uh, from the airport. We're a little way away from it. But that time, just kept his feet, found a great feed. And the good thing there with South Australia, they really set up with three lefties out there to be a very left-handed, orientated play. Uh got to the right and the lefties came into their, their own. One all. And yeah. this is the sort of lacrosse we love, Lachlan. Yeah, great patience there and you could probably see maybe some contrasting styles already from uh, from both of these teams. It's going to be Cam McLaughlin and Lockie McDonald in the middle. McDonald wins that forward to Caleb Hall. Who's going to come up oh, with it now? Glutenay. Glutenay head over it there. No, the, the there's long a, pole there's from, a defender uh, <laughs> for long you. Pole from Camberwell. <laughs> I'll tell you al has been, been out with the Australian team as well, trying out. And uh, I'll tell you, we played the sixes when he was looking at it. And uh, he was scoring goals. He, he, he thought he was uh, a massive chance as a longy. But opportunity here for uh, Victoria still. Clock reset, 30 seconds, as they get some subs on the field. That's the kind of thing a guy like Al Glutenay can do. You just apply that pressure, keep the ball down in your forward half. And they've done that. And I'll uh, get a full 30 now. Hall, he's got plum. 
Cuts all the way across the top. Caleb Hall now swings it sideways to Reynolds. The goal scorer for Victoria. And it's classy dodge little there. Oh, and a nice little finish there. What, Too easy. That is almost copybook of the last shot. Well, we've got a, a goal that's allowed here. So Apart from the fact that he stepped <laughs> in the crease. So, <laughs> so it won't be a second for Victoria. <laughs> it won't be coined with the ball. As uh, we see Caleb Hall just trying to uh, tiptoe behind him. But you hear the crowd going, he's behind you, he's behind <laughs> you. Kicks the ball down to Anthony Green. Green with the ball now. He's got Lehman. Green fires and uh, ambitious. Great save there again, though, from the keep. He's got Ratchy on the outlet, but just misses that wide. And so. hits, hits the other bearded man in Harrison Turner. And we've got a penalty coming here. I'll tell you what, I think there was a uh, competition for the beards then. <laughs> and uh, I don't think Tim was... I thought he was under pressure, but uh, Timmy is going to be uh, in the box for two minutes for a hold. Probably just a little unlucky there. He, you see what he's trying to do, but just wrapped it around the, the neck there. So, um, yeah, definitely a penalty. And Turner, a big man to wrap around the neck just quietly. Yes. <laughs> so our first... Uh, Hang on, they're just uh, making sure they're in the right uh, penalty box. First power play of the night. Is there anything that we can expect here, do you think, Tony? Well, or? I'm looking again. They've set up for this real left-handed. Winnen will always try. They'll work the ball across the top here. If there's anything to go by in the uh, South Australia League, they seem to work the, the tops and then pop these two uh, back corners in. But, uh, you know, three lefties again out there. So they're looking potentially for a left-handed shot. But Jesse Winnen, he'll fire them from, uh, from downtown in the defensive end if he gets the opportunity. So here they go. Little rotation of a... Leeming gets in the middle, left and uh, Mullins. So left-handed, they've certainly set up for that left there. On, winning. He'll let that fire, but uh, seen that all too much, isn't it? I mean, that's, you know what, clock running down, I suppose you're well in your right with penalty to take that shot. And Victoria will come into offense in a man down situation and they'll just probably suck the clock out here and uh, take the time out of the penalty. Yeah, I'd expect this to come to Caleb Hall. He's a uh as he moved the ball on, but uh, some experienced players out there, Plum and Hall, and um, you know, these guys know what they're doing. Eight seconds on the clock now. Parsons oh, Quinty out. I thought that, that might has, have just I, found the bottom corner. I thought that had found the net too, but uh, a step back, and uh, Williams just put his foot on the net, which made it look that from our angle, that was uh, home. Yeah, nice little wind up there. Wasn't and a he, beat. And, 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 oh, and uh, nice, Leeming, nice uh, Leeming on set a man. pick on McLaughlin, but. Uh, Unfortunately, McLaughlin ran straight into it. So Hall with the ball. And uh, Plummy's just going, give me the ball, please. Yeah, you don't see that very often where the man sets you, your uh, yeah, no, own pick and you run into it. I don't think I've seen that before. So Aaron Batsis now. Looks like he's happy just to settle things down. Ten on the shot clock now for Victoria. Looks like this is Reynolds. He loves to get in that inside lane there. Three seconds now, so Plum's just going to have to let one loose. He nearly sends that one into the golf club out the back. I was going to say, I was seeing the guys tee off out the back, and uh, they were looking very much like that. Here we go. The uh, Caleb Hall, James Mullins, and uh, they've uh, they've been away together. They've probably roomed together almost. <laughs> and uh, you saw that, a little bit of a cuddle, and back down the other way. And I'd imagine we'd be pretty close to even strength here, if not already right Released now. Released now, Ratchy, out the box. You are all over it. So 5v5 once again. Plum, a little stumble on his way through, but manages to get it off to Templeton. Meant to play. He's only got two on the shot clock now, so he just has to let one loose. Easy save there for Williams. I'll tell you what, shots like that on both of these keepers, uh, uh, you know what, with low time, is just is just giving it up. I mean, they're too good to be uh, shooting those sort of shots. So Green on the outer side with the ball. That's Anthony Green. Kicks it to Frodo. Josh Wood, ball out there to Coin, gives it up to uh, gives it up to Jesse Winnan. Eleven on the shot clock, so shot clock's really running down. Green with the ball. Anthony need a shot here. Four seconds, and Coin runs, picked up by Pumba, and Pumba. Look at the pace on him. He's lost some weight, lost him there. There's an outlet here. Oh, I thought there could have been a potential for the hat trick early. Yeah, Reynolds wide open right there, but does good enough to. Uh Find it again. Aaron Batsis now on that bottom corner. He likes this little situation here. The big man gets a shot off. He's a uh, son of Jai Aaron Batsis, as many of our viewers would know. 
but uh, can't beat the keep on that occasion. So it's going to come down, see how the strays way. Caleb Paul uh, doing his best to win the ball back. And a little late hit there from Gluten. I think we're going to note there is a penalty the call. Penalty call. So Cam Adams just uh, just uh, falling for that one, you know. Just take. He's he's been around a bit, Cam Adams. He knows uh, how to draw one. So a penalty opportunity. We're one all here, and shot had ball picked up by Leeming, and Leeming oh, from no nowhere. Way. That's almost from behind the cage, Tyler Leeming. What a shot! That was. Uh, I'm not even we, sure he could see the net there. I, I'm saying he was uh, almost almost behind the net. You can't be behind the net <laughs> to do that. But uh, Tyler Leeming with a fantastic shot there. Finding the opposite side of the cage in South Australia with the, the penalty on it, penalty wiped off. Uh, and 2-1, uh, it is to uh, South Australia. That's that exactly was, what that they would have needed. Shot. Yeah, exactly right. Exactly what the, the South Aussies would have needed there. Just uh, pretty back, uh, you know, up and down so far this quarter. But for, for you know, a low percentage shot, you'd probably call that one to hit the back of the net. And they'll, um, you know, take, take, take the lead. Absolutely wrapped. I'll tell you, and the... Tyler Reynolds really impressed me in this first quarter. He has. He just, even even the work he's doing off ball here. Look at this. He's just finding a way in. And nearly an opportunity there again for Reynolds. Yeah, there's almost a bit of grace about the way that he just finds his way through. He just sort of glides past the players. Um, as that one just rebounds out to Travis Kroll. Who's going to come up with it now? He reminds me of a hot knife through butter. Good description there, I reckon. And the nice little move there from Reynolds. He just finds his way through. Oh, what a finish. Yeah, Reynolds. He what has... a move. So he's got three now. Uh, just be the yeah, one uh, disallowed. Oh, disallowed. Before, Sorry, so. I'm getting excited. <laughs> I mean, the, the again, hot knife through butter. Perfect. And it's, it, it's so much about the finish, but the little first step as well, to sell the man the, the wrong way. Work his way into that position in the first place. That's a, a great finish to, to level the scores up here at two apiece. I'll tell you who's putting his name on the MVP for the, uh, this game early is uh, young Tyler Reynolds. That's a fantastic ball out of the centre. Walkie McDonald, the uh, centre domination continues for Victoria. They capitalise now. They get the fast break opportunity. Hall gets a shot off. I think there's a little piece on that. It's not going to matter because the South Aussies will take the rebound through McLaughlin. And uh, just misses a handle of the ball there to Green. Oh, what a little one. Uh, a little one, Pumba, just throwing his weight around. Not that he's got much of it anymore. He's, he's uh, dropped about three dress sizes. Uh, love Pumba. <laughs> so, Lucas, he's just, he's almost, he's almost got the shark eyes, hasn't he, Lucas? Just like, oh, there's a man in front of me. And it is, uh, so ball with Victoria. So Kroll looks across, tried to find Plum at the top. Five on the shot clock now. Not going to matter because that's going to be the end of our first quarter. And what a great first quarter here on the Australian Lacrosse Network for your uh, SA versus Vic first round game. And it's uh, a cracking game so far, Lucky. Yeah, exactly right. I think probably you'd say the Vicks may be just having the better of it so far, but they haven't been able to capitalise at the moment. Um, so the Australia, they're starting to get some of that momentum going. And you can see with that last goal um, of theirs down that end, um, you know, they're certainly right in this one. Tyler Reynolds, you know, he's been the man to watch, oh. I think, at the moment. Watch, uh, I mean, I know it only says two on the score sheet, but I've got him for three. That's it. <laughs> I, keep, keep an eye on him for the rest yeah, of the game, I think. No, he'll have a nickname by the end of this tournament from me, and it's uh, it's a good thing to have. That's it. But, um, yeah. So, but he has two for uh, for Victoria as the goal scorer. And for South Australia, we had James Mullins uh, try the air. Mullins didn't get that one and just uh, decided to do the easy bit and step in after that. He has one. And Tyler Leeming with that one where uh, there certainly wouldn't have been too much space to put that one away. But they're the ones that, uh, you know, it only takes one goal, doesn't it, to win uh, a game. And I think these two have shown that they're probably the uh, two favourites to uh, play off in that uh, that game, but still a lot of across here at the Alan Lua field. And um, it is a beautiful night out here, mate. Yeah, exactly right. That sun's just set nicely over the back of the clubhouse here. Um, so the, the lights have come on. It's uh, beautiful. It's, it's just dropped a, a couple of degrees, so it's, it's a really comfortable um, temperature now. Um, I wasn't down here during the day, Tony, but all reports were that it was, it was pretty warm during was, the day down here. Well, I got here and I saw the WA guys uh, come off and Benji Muxlow took his gear off and uh, took his uh, shoulder pads and rib pads. And they were, I'm not going to say he wasn't wringing them out, but they were, they were like he turned on a tap and he handed them to Tegan Brown and said, here, Tegan, here's my gear for your next game. Oh, no. and, I, oh, no. and I went, that's just a little, 
you know what? You've got to be good friends to be uh, <laughs> doing that. And then Tegan put them on and she went and dominated and got MVP. So with Benji getting the MVP the day before, I'm starting to think maybe it rubbed some, off. <laughs> some lucky pads there. But, but, uh, uh, but I'll tell you what else is fantastic. The, the fact that we have women's box lacrosse in Australia for the first time in history, it is played here at the Adelaide Field. And I said, do yourself a favour over the next couple of days. Get down here and watch the women. They are very skillful players on the field, but I tell you what, this box game, they're starting to understand it. Yeah, it's fantastic, isn't it? And you know, For so many of the women, they've probably been dying for an opportunity like this for so many years, so that to finally get a chance to go out there and, and play their trade at, um, at this game, um, you know, that they'd be absolutely loving the, the opportunity. Um, and there's, there's pathways now as well, Tony, that you know, they can go on to, to wear the green and gold you know, potentially at some point, which is, you know, it's just fantastic. Well, watching today, there is a lot of women, and I, a couple of them looked and they went, I can lay a body. I can whack you on the hands. <laughs> I can, really? <laughs> and, uh, and, and using deep pockets as well, which they're not used to. I mean, kudos to them. So ball out of the face. So Aaron Aldred straight to the cage. And he does well enough to find the ground ball. A little sledging from his uh, Footscray teammates, I think, in the in the stands over there. Well, you're not Australian if you don't uh, get a little bit of a sledge. That's exactly right. So, uh, ball up the top here for Victoria. Yeah, Ratchi. He's going to work his way into trouble now. Just gets tied up. Well defended there from the Reds. McLaughlin, he's done well to collect some of those ground balls. He's but played the, the, really well in that defensive end, mate. The pressure just straight back on him there. Plum. Oh, that could be in the rear. A loose ball push. And uh, and uh, Jesse Winner not looking for a card there. <laughs> yeah, Tim Ratchie just uh, throwing his size around there. Oh, it's going to be Plum that's sent to the penalty box here. I think that might have been an unsportsmanlike call there on Chris Plum. So couldn't quite see exactly what it was for. But regardless, South Australia are going to be man up once again. See if they can convert on so, their second power play. So Adams with the ball. And if you're live and free on the Australian Lacrosse Network, give us a shout out. Exactly hey, right. We'd, we'd love to uh, love to communicate with you and uh, see what your thought processes are. Oh, there we go again. Leaming. He's found a spot. Yeah, I think uh, the Vicks would probably be wanting to put some work into him down there. That's twice that he's found that bottom corner on the left hand. And uh, that's a great finish to find the bottom corner. A little bit more of an open chance on this occasion, and that's a great conversion there on the man up. And Leeming gets his second for the game and puts South Australia up 3-2 early in the second. And I'll tell you what, those shots were, if you if you played them over, over looped them, they'd probably be a very similar looking beast. Yeah, I think so. Probably that one a little bit more open than, than the other, but you know, pretty similar spots. And, uh, you know, I think Greg Mollison's got some, got some work to, uh, to do down there. Aldred kicks it to... Hole, Hole just has a shot, gets a rebound. Just, you know what? This is what I do. Ratchy with the ball, and here's my man. Mm. I'm already on him for MVP. The knife. Oh, the hot knife. And uh, Brady Williams with a big save. And down the bottom corner there. And that one is going to be a reset. Oh, get dumped down the back. But I'll tell you, there's my man. That is Tyler Reynolds. He is uh, single-handedly putting the ball in the back of the net for the uh, Victorian team. And there we go. That's that's three. He's a hat. He's got a hat trick. Yeah, what an impact that there that he's having out there for Victoria at the moment. Doing all of the damage down there. We rattled off some names at the start of the night, but uh, he's proven to be the man so far for well, the Vicks. Well, I'll tell you what. The only thing that I rattled off pre-game for Tyler is I changed his number from 25 <laughs> to 8 with the pen. I'm glad that we did that. Oh, I'm glad we did too because otherwise we'd be sitting here going, who just scored those four <laughs> and one disallowed? Or, or three with one disallowed. Hall with the ball. Looks inside. And great work there from uh, Pumba. This is your man here, oh, he Tony. Is. He there is was indeed. a spot there to line up for Parsons Kuntia. There, there, there was an assist there somewhere. <laughs> well collected there from McDonald. Now here he is again, Parsons Kuntia. Oh, hello! To fire there. I'll tell you the what. top right corner. Rattle, 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 goes the cookie jar. And uh, Lucas passes. Good towel. Bang. Have some of that.
Yeah, he's too Top dangerous. Shelf. There's uh, to give a guy like that two, three steps on his left hand. He's going to finish those more times than not. You've really got to step up on that. You can't give him that lane, and uh, that's good enough to put Victoria back in front. 4-3, they lead it now. I'd love to say I taught him that, but I didn't. <laughs> but I, uh, I'm certainly uh, just sitting here impressed, and you're watching it. And uh, there we go. So a 4-3 game in the blink of an eye. South Australia get up 3-2, two, two, and uh, back to 4-3 uh, now. So ball to be won on the, on the boards. Good work there from Mullins. Doesn't work. Pops out. Good and uh, Good work in there. Twisk. Thought he was doing the twisk again then. <laughs> oh, Mullins just a little bit of, uh, you know what, he realised that nothing sticks to this, uh, this board because they've got the graffiti paint on it. And that could be an interference call. But uh, nothing there. Thought Said he was that got tied up a bit there, Cale Hall. And I think oh, he did I'll tell too. You what, I'll tell you what got tied up was Lucas. <laughs> just... He's just absolutely nailed his own teammate. And Gone uh, down, nailed one of the SA boys. And we've got uh, James Mullins sitting out the back here all by himself. He's got one-on-one -on -one with the keeper and the helmet's Lost gone his helmet. It is all happening here at the moment. And a uh, ball coming out. So I tell you, Mullins trying to put everything into that shot, even the helmet. <laughs> yeah, he just found himself out uh, all by himself on that, that fast break. But the Vicks collapsed very well to prevent conceding another Templeton all by himself down there the young fella from Eltham but good save Williams too good for him on that occasion Frodo with the ball Josh Wood looks oh that's just a hospital ball and Plum says if that's what you're going to do I'm going to fire it back this way and you cannot give up uh, an easy just lay up into the center I mean it doesn't matter what sport you go into you just cannot put it up the middle with a looped ball because a Plummy just come back the other way and uh, Plummy went bang, thank you, gets the ball, knocks his player over and uh, puts it in the back of the net. So Chris Plum with his first of the night. Yeah, so important. You, you give the ball away in spots like that in this game and you pay the price more times than not. Chris Plum, too good. Just the attack on the ball, didn't he? He kept, he kept, he kept his, uh, he kept his uh, composure with the hit. Lost his man, but... You know, the South Australia will talk about that. You know, find those passes, especially you know we're at the we're at the we're at the big level now. Hall, great shot there from Hall. Another area that's really interesting, Tony, is that often you see the, the centre. It can be a funny one this game where um, you know, often it can't matter too much. But the Vicks are really dominating now, and it's starting to impact the play. I think where they're getting that first look. We just saw a you know back-to-back -back goals on that occasion would have been. Uh, well, it was a three-pass shot, wasn't it? Yeah, exactly and, right. And you've just gone three, three, you know, the last three goals effectively. So they're, they're really, uh, you know, big momentum killers in the middle and Victoria all over it in the middle at the moment. But um, Jesse Winnan feeds that one across. Twisk is well defended there from Brennan Freeman. Good cut there from Adams. But uh, they got... rewarded now. A little a underhand oh, shot. save down low. And uh, down to uh, defence they go. So, ball... Doyle, he's got a lane to the cage if he wanted it. Winning was there, but he was almost high stepping down the outer side here. I, I, I love, love seeing pace in <laughs> players. It doesn't matter. It puts uh, the mental pressure on your defender. Oh, good inside roll. And a reset there. There's some confusion out there I was about say, who wants the ball. I thought, they looked, I thought they were looking to see whether he went through the crease, but there was a reset on the shot, and uh, everyone was just uh, trying to uh, say, no, you, you go and get it. So here's your man. I think it, we're going to call half of them your oh, man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm Tony, I'm, but I don't uh, care. They're, they're all uh, <laughs> they're all doing their thing out there. And uh, you know what? Everyone's my man when uh, they're playing lacrosse like this. That's it. This is why we get down here and the crowd build up over the last little bit. It's great to see if you're in the western suburbs or if you're in Melbourne, full stop. Get down here to Altona because the club's done a fantastic job um, with the facilities here. We've got some stands set up. Um, you know, some great stalls um, near the clubhouse. It's a fantastic atmosphere, and it's going to be a great couple of days. Um, well, as I heard about it this morning and flew all the way from Adelaide. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, get down here. It doesn't matter where you are. And uh, the shot clock about to run out. And uh, Wood or McLaughlin there. And Victoria potentially with numbers with the subs here. So, uh, looks up, finds Plum. Plum just uh, says, let's just, uh, if we can get another one here. And just put that gap out to a couple. 
you know, another one here from Victoria puts him out to a three-goal lead. And in the contest of this game, as we as we spoke early, that's a huge amount. Winning, uh, this is one, oh, that's going to be a penalty. Yeah, and Plummy, old head, old fox, shall we call him? Yeah, clever there from Chris Plum. It'll be interesting to see how many uh, he gets here, Chris Plum. Is it just going to yeah, be just the two? A two minute. Yeah. yeah, and you know what? It's like that clear ball foul in basketball at the moment, wasn't it? There was nothing behind him. Yeah. Does he shoot one? <laughs> and then get the ball back? No, not in this no. game. You know what? We're tougher than that. We are. But, uh, yeah, clever there from Chris Plum. He knew that Winnan was out if he um, if he got clear there. So just tied him up. So here we go again. Last time uh, they had the uh, three lefties out. Now they've got three righties. So let's see whether South Australia utilise uh, this man up. And they look like they're running a uh, triangle on the outer side. Adams steps in, lies, and uh, back over. Mullins with the ball. Not with the ball. Maybe with the ball. Uh and the ball is over and back. And Victoria's fast start. Great pressure there from Tony Joseph to force the turnover and then win the ground ball as well. That's great uh, man down defense to kill the penalty. Well, that's the way you kill penalties, isn't it? You turn the ball over down in their offensive end and then get it down in your defense, run the clock out. Allows Chris Plum to just, just, just get a couple of more breaths in. Yeah, so down to five now on the shot clock. Marcus Aaron Batis is gonna have to pull the trigger soon. He winds up, winds up. Easy save there for Williams, oh, but he's going to get the reset. So, That's uh, huge yeah, South there. Australia, you know, they're a, they're a man up here, and they really needed to, to uh, jump on that rebound. Massive there from the Vicks. Aaron Batis once again finds a bottom corner in Hall. She's going to carry across the top. And Reynolds now. Taking time out at the moment. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Aaron Batis tries to work his way into the crease. Well defended there. So he's got five on the shot clock now. Hall's going to have to let one loose. He doesn't. He finds Reynolds on the cut. Save there. Is there another rebound here for the Victorians? The ball's bobbling oh, around. Is. There is. And I think they've I'll just gone ahead and killed the penalty. That's, uh, that's, that's a turnover down this end with 20-odd seconds off. And they're going to get a minute and a half there. And uh, they're going to uh, clear that penalty before the balls, before South Australia have had an opportunity to get the ball back down in their offensive end. Yeah, so you just feel like the momentum's really shifted now. The Vicks uh, getting on top in the middle of the last couple of runs of goals, and now this good power play uh, kill. It's uh, done a really good job. Not quite uh, sh uh, sharpening up on their shots at the so moment. Mullins out to the races. He's uh, he's come up, set, steps, pops, shot, and uh, Plum's released now. So we've got, uh, there's a potential here for a, no, South Australia getting back in numbers. Yeah, when, when he switched on to that one, he really uh, dropped back, saw what Plum was doing. Hole. Now, uh, it's going to be Plum that comes across the top, gets that shot oh. off, and nice finish there from Chris Plum. He uh, got a nice two-minute rest in the penalty box, and he's come straight back out and put away his second goal of the evening. Well, he's just gone, sorry, boys, that's my second penalty, so here's another goal. <laughs> so they cancel each other out, so he's 0-0 at the moment, is uh, Plumby. But no, fantastic shot in the five-hole. And uh, and just starting to get a bit of a, as you say, that momentum changing. It's now 6-3. And uh, if my eyes are correct, 6-3. Out um, to that three-goal game. And South Australia came out of the blocks in this one. But uh, they need to find someone here to stand up in the offensive end. And again, this is where they're starting to uh, make it work through the, through the face. Yeah, they haven't quite capitalised on a couple of those fast breaks, Victoria, but... Um, it's hard to think of a face-off they haven't come away with um, so far. They're really dominating in the middle at the moment. So Caleb Hall is going to work his way through, finds a cutter in Aaron Batis, gets that shot off on the lefty once again. And a reset, another another pickup off that shot. Yeah, so they've done really well on those boards, haven't they? It's probably an ambitious shot there from Aaron Batis. Tried to use the screen, but it's uh, easily saved there from Williams. And the South Australians and are twisk. away once again. Kicks it to Coyne. Coyne and subs coming here for South Australia. We've got one, two, three, four coming. So almost a new crew on. And and with that defensive uh, effort. So Winham with the ball up the top. Kicks it to Twisk. Kicks it out there to Leeming. Leeming just uh, looking with the... Uh, or oh, looks inside. Doesn't find Mullins. And the shot clock down to two. We have a reset, but... I'll just take that out of my pads. Thanks very much. And yeah, let's go and play nice some offense again, boys. He's been really good in the cage. Like a couple of real uh, key saves in this second, which uh, sort of, oh, a little, oh, hello. A little, <laughs> uh, 
Hit a ball there from Parsons oh, Guntier. Nice He's got it off to Caleb Ball. I tell you what. Quarter team goal there. Oh, that, now, that's an assist. You've got to write that one down. To, but Hall with a great finish. But I like the... I liked the just starting to mix it up a little bit, Victoria. They're up the top, throwing that little hidden ball trick and plus could tell a little underarm flick. You know, they're just starting to find targets at the moment. We're probably going to see a time uh, on cue. We're going to see a time out to South Australia. I was going to say, there's the coach <laughs> in me. Um, just uh, out to a four-goal lead now. And there's probably not uh, far to go in just this. Just over five minutes in this, uh, in this quarter. Okay, so four-goal lead now. Victoria with the momentum, you know what does the what does the South Australian coach in Anthony Filippo say here? Uh, uh, well, I What's think probably uh, you know, it starts in the middle. I think as most games do, maybe not necessarily winning, but you can't be getting beaten the way they are. So tying it up a little bit, giving that contest in the middle. Um, defensively, I think they've not been too bad. When they're just starting to, to uh, become a little bit sloppy potentially on those rebounds, Victoria are getting too many double chances. So you've got to sharpen up a little bit there. And offensively, probably being a little bit more proactive. They're getting some good looks, but they're leaving it a little bit too late. They're getting down to, you know, 10, 7 se uh, seconds on the shot clock. Maybe pulling that trigger a little bit earlier, trying to give yourselves those second chances. Uh, what are your thoughts, Tony? Well, I've got some thoughts, but uh, they're more on the on the viewers we've got. It just <laughs> shot up, mate. We we asked for we asked for him, Lucas Shuey, or shall we say, uh, Luke Keesing online, Australian two-time plague. Fantastic. He says, "Good call, fellas. Keep it up. See you tomorrow." See, even Luke's coming from uh, <laughs> South Australia to here. Connor Davies is watching. Uh, we got Andy Semler, shooter. He said, "Good to hear those dulcet tones tone." <laughs> That works. Oh, it sort of works. Uh, he must be talking about you, Lockie. Uh, Rob Cooper says, Caleb Hall scored the third goal. Yeah, we know, but there was one disallowed, so we're just, we're on my boy. Um, and uh, John Safanas says, go CP. And there's plenty of people online now, so give us a shout out if you've got an opportunity. And Love to hear uh, from you. And uh, right in front of us, this is what we do, a little bit of rubbing. It's like showering with, uh, with sticks. <laughs> They must have been listening to us, uh, Tone, because they've uh, just gone and won that face-off. First one I can, uh, can think of for the, the whole game there. So giving themselves the first look. But just uh, interesting to see what they do in this set now. Well, Already they're down, down to 10, 10 seconds, the aren't clock. they? Yeah. So uh, Victoria and needs some movement here. Adams looks, fakes, leaming. He's, he's got a couple from there. That's but, his spot uh, there. Is oh, it just dribbled in the back of the net? He's got more than a couple from there. That is uh, that is uh, nutted the keeper and a big save, but uh, the backspin on it. He obviously plays golf next door as well. <laughs> yeah, Blake Watson a little upset with himself down there, just a little punch on the pads. Uh, he got a good pace of it, but just uh, evaded him on the on the rebound. And that's his uh, that's his spot, isn't it? Tyler Leeming, three goals, pretty much carbon copy of each other down in that bottom corner. And I tell you what, Anthony Filippa's doing now. He's going, what a great timeout call that was, <laughs> and that was the way I drew it up. So uh, now the face-off opportunity and at least at least Turner gave it a really good uh, rip there and you know it wasn't an easy win out the center yeah so just creating that contest and you know Aldridge had to win the ball off the ground that's all you can ask for at the moment change it one step at a time probably but uh, that one's up and over but Plum just seems to be in the Plum position every time shot clock down to seven now so Marcus Aaron Bats is gonna have to go soon across the Plum gets that shot off a little piece and that's headed out of bounds, I believe. No, it's stayed in bounds. And a reset. <laughs> so Victoria with the ball on the outer side there. Uh, Bats us across to Caleb Hall. He's got Reynolds just a little fumbly. He, he wants to... Uh, is well, that mate, that stick would be slippery if he's carving butter like That's he was. exactly right. Nice little feed in there to mentor play. That one's also stayed in bounds. We've got a couple threatening to bounce over the fence. And another reset there. And this so, is just where it's important for South Australia. You've got to try and find the, the next one here. Oh, and a little shot down low, but uh, that one didn't go in. Looks up the top, finds Plum. Plum, a little bit of a fake, fires. Brady Williams doesn't know where that is, but uh, I'll tell you what, he could play in the Socceroos as well with foot <laughs> skills like that. Just a little toe tap. Kicks it down the back corner. Mullins falls out. No, that's Leeming again. Great pickup from Leeming. And pulls it out. With 27, we're going to reset on that and uh, gave it an opportunity. And what a stop down there from Brett Williams. You just felt the pressure was building and building for Victoria, but to win the ball back, it's crucial now. So Leeming with three of the South Australian goals. 
uh, as we see McLaughlin come on, Winnan with the ball up the top. Now Winnan was a major goal scorer in uh, in the last game and uh, doesn't have anything on the board yet, does Jesse Winnan, and he's a predominant scorer, but so is this man, Caleb Hall, and so is that man, Chris Plum. And we're gonna have a reset there. Yeah, it'd be interesting if there were any stats on uh, second opportunities, because Victoria's just really building them at the moment, really finding those uh, shots off the reset. Give well, I, well I've taken some <laughs> without you seeing, and I've got 18 at the moment. So uh, we're all over it here on the Australian Lacrosse Network. Um, we don't just sit here and commentate. We, uh, we let it rip, and uh, we're all over it here. And we're glad you've joined us on the Australian Lacrosse Network. We're glad to be bringing you a fantastic lacrosse all weekend at this beautiful Alan Lua box court. South Australia now really they want to they wanted another one here to just get that momentum and just to start to change that around here Lockie yeah so just over two minutes to play another one here would be uh, absolutely game on as we head into half time but the I'll tell you what else beat is them there heading in half time the shot clock <laughs> That's, uh, so ball down the back here with Victoria and they will uh, bring it up on the outer side Pumba Kicks it there to so Aaron Batsis now. He wants that left hand. A little feed inside to Hall. Just knocked away. Down to 10 on the shot clock. Reynolds flicks across to Lockie McDonald. Gets the shot off. Looks low, but well saved there from Williams once again. Nice little opportunity there too, just quietly. Just trying to flick it yeah, in without stepping the in the crease. Yeah, very clever. He, st he finds his way to the to the hole there. And South Australia through Twisk and Winnan up the top. So Winnan's certainly looking to score, and I think every time he gets here, they, they put one of their better defenders on him, so he's not having the opportunities that he's uh, accustomed to. So he's just going to have to work, McLaughlin. He's been down to the defensive more and more than the offense. Yeah, and the shot clock, once again, is going to be the enemy for South Australia. It's going to expire once more. And so that's, 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 that's pretty much a, a tale of the first half, or probably the second quarter, to be honest. The first quarter was not so much, but... Uh, the pressure that Victoria have put on. Yeah, a little bit of a coach killer, that one. Twice in a row, it's um, proved probably a little frustrating for South Australia. We'd at least be wanting to fire one off. And you're seeing when Victoria are getting to that point, they're firing the, firing the ball off. But, you know, they're, they're expecting a rebound coming back their way. Fire, rebounds, reset, and have another opportunity. So, ball on the outer side with Cam Adams. As we see, one, two, three subs coming here. Leeming comes on. And they probably want to look to manage this game clock. We believe there's about 20 seconds left in so the game. So 10 seconds in the shot. So Adams looks, finds Coyne under good pressure there from Victoria. They're keeping him up above that restraining line. And, you know, just to try and get a shot off, which is what we're probably looking for. But uh, Victoria doing a great job in defense at the moment as well. Yeah, definitely. And there are, uh, what was that? Shot on the buzzer from Tim Ratchie. And, and don't the Victorians he... like it. It doesn't ratchy like that. That's that's uh, the bomb on. Now that, if you're talking coach killers, that's one of them. On it's, the buzzer. Uh, I tell you, there's nothing better than one right on the buzzer to uh, go in with momentum. And the coach always speaks a little bit softer and a little bit uh, more delicate uh, when that happens. Yeah, exactly right. Uh, you can just see the, the pep in the step of the Vic boys after that one. Yes, say guys, well, they'd really worked themselves nicely back into it, but just... Um, yeah, a little bit of a momentum killer. But they're, they're certainly right in this one. They, they built back into it late in that second quarter. But um, the Victorians, they're, uh, they're right in control at the moment. And, uh, yeah, out to, a, uh, out to an 8-4 lead now. So they've just, uh, at the half, they've halved the score at 8-4. And uh, we've got a bit of a conversation happening over there with uh, James Mullen and the uh, Zebras. <laughs> and uh, we might go through some uh, goal scorers, mate. Do uh, you want to go through the uh, the Victorian? Yeah, so we've got uh, Caleb Hall with one to his name. Tim Ratchie, obviously that, uh, that last second goal in to, to finish the second half there. Parsons Quintia, a really nice goal as well. Uh, Chris Plum, he's got two penalties, but two goals to cancel them out. Yeah, they're zero. The man that we're keeping an eye on, Tyler Reynolds, he's had some sort of game so far. We believe it's three goals. But, yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure it's three. 
and yeah. uh, and one disallowed. So yeah, he's, uh, he's having some quite some game at the moment. Uh, Blake Watson doing a, a sturdy job down back. Probably would have wanted to have that dribbler back again, but. Uh, no, he's done a pretty good job in the there positive, so far. The positive in there is, though, as a coach, you, you say, you know, you're in the right spot. It's hit you. You've done everything right. And you know what? It's the this ball on this surface. He does have some uh, have some backspin sometimes and didn't get it. It exactly rolls over. Right. But uh, And that leads us to the South Australian goal scorers. And uh, yeah, there's only two of them at the moment. James Mullins gets one in the fir- early in the first. And then Tyler Leeming with the, what was three of... Almost very similar uh, shots. He's been the mainstay for the uh, SA boys on the scoring end. Um, he's got three. It is currently, uh, yeah, eight to four. And um, and we've got some replays going on at the moment. Sorry, we, we can't see it at the moment. We're just first set up tonight. So, uh, but we hope you're enjoying the replays. And send us a shout out while we've got some time. Let's uh, let's see who's on a lot on that line. Uh, here we go. Um, who have I got here? David McRae is watching. Jai Arambatis is also watching. Skinny Cliff says hi, fellas. Keep up the good work, Skinny. We hope you keep up the good work. Yeah, hope you go well, Skinny. Uh, coach Skinny to a, a Div Two Premiership here in Victoria this year. So oh, watch uh, out. Hope he's doing well down there, Skinny. Doing well. And uh, Dom fish. Dom Lyon says Tony says Tony says star jumps. I played a little game with the the new team I'm coaching the other night called Tony Says. It's a bit like Simon Says. And if Tony doesn't say Tony Says, uh, they will go to run. <laughs> um, it's a listening drill. Um, Tom Tuxford says, uh, Leeming, keeps sending him. I'll tell you what, if he keeps doing that. And uh, Naomi Lowe says, great work in the cage, Breddy. And he's, he has been under the pump. Has uh, Both keepers, to be honest, have, uh, have taken some really good shots. And uh, as we speak, yeah, I think uh, Brett Williams has, has done a really good job in there. He's um, he's probably doing the, the work and uh, would like some support from his defenders to, to pick up some of the scraps from some of the good saves he's been making. But um, you know, I'm sure that'll probably be something the, the SA boys will try and address at half time. And, uh, and, and the messages keep coming in. Uh, Simon Rafout says, nice work, boys. Scotty Newman says, looks like a great arena. I tell you what, if it looks good on telly, and on your big 65 inch that you're sitting there watching live and free on the Australian Lacrosse Network, do yourself a favour, get down here. You know what? Luke Keesing's coming from Adelaide uh, to come over and watch. You know, I flew in this morning. If we can do it, you, you know, I mean, I know it's only an hour flight, but there's got to be less than an hour drive to get to here. Exactly. Do yourself a favour, get down and support the girls as well in their endeavours because I tell you what, there is some fantastic lacrosse going on at this Alan Lua, Alan Lua field. Spot on, and there's some uh, cracking weather over the next couple of days, Tony. We were uh, do I uh, do I need to uh, get the uh, Latan on tomorrow, yeah, mate? Yeah, I think so. The SP, the SPF 50, I reckon, is the go uh, for the next couple of days. We're, we're forecast 29 and 32 Friday, Saturday, but just to remind everyone, we're uh, still in Melbourne, 22 on Sunday. So, um, I mean, you know, in Adelaide, that's sort of like 16, and <laughs> I mean, we're used to that uh, coming over the border. But no, what what I mean, perfect weather. I'm just looking as we look out to the west now. I mean, if you were down the beach watching the sunset, what a what a perfect night it is! It's a perfect summer night. Do yourself a favour. Yeah, fantastic spot down here, and uh, no, I'm probably sure we'll mention it uh, throughout the calls, Tony. But uh, you know, the the late great Alan Lua, we scored is named after him, and uh, I'm sure he'd be looking down absolutely wrapped with what we're seeing down here at the moment. Um, his club have put on a great spectacle, and uh, yeah, a couple more great days we can expect down here. But again, for those of you who can't make it down here, and I don't know why, um, but for those who can't, get on and watch. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be producing as much content as we can here over the weekend on the Australian Lacrosse Network. It is free. It is live. It is, you get the dulcet tones of Lockie and myself. Um, what more could, I mean, that just sounds like a perfect weekend coming up. I reckon. Doesn't it? And I tell you, as we see that, more people on. Ollie Norse watching. Baxter Hathaway's watching. Paul Kernan. Now I'm going to give a big shout out to Paulie Kay because he is, uh, he's my man. He's uh, always uh, very supportive, been a long time uh, and coaching Sturt Lacrosse Club this year. So big shout out to you, Paulie. Fantastic. Braden O'Brien's watching. Malcolm Higgins. Malcolm, he must be uh, Dr. Malcolm Higgins. He's uh, probably in the hospital just watching. Uh, Carolyn McClucky. G'day, Carolyn. Hope you're well. Braden O'Brien says, let's go SA. Paddy Palmer. He is a Sharks alternate, Paddy Palmer. So uh, he's watching, and uh, Judy Mental play, Menti play, sorry, 
uh, says Go Vix. Matty Ella also online. So they're just they plenty, keep coming. Plenty of and it's fantastic to see, isn't it? So well, we've just gone up to about seven hundred viewers. So I love it. Keep online. I mean, look, I've always been one to exaggerate, <laughs> but why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you be live and free on the on the uh, ALN? Peter Quas says, someone tell Aaron Aldred to go fill up the water bottles. <laughs> okay, Quasi, private joke. <laughs> Hope you're doing well there, Pete. Hope uh, pre-season training went uh, went well tonight, mate. Expect you out there, Big Pete. And uh, and and and. In all seriousness, you know what? Great to see Quasi back and, uh, you know, his knees recovering well. And Australian lacrosse is better with him in it. So, uh, Quasi, big shout out to you, brother. And I uh, hope, you, hope you're travelling well. And uh, and another one, Kyle Aylesworth. Now, Kyle is a guy that uh, was playing lacrosse with me out at Burnside Lacrosse Club from the US of A. So, uh, he's over in the US. Kyle, hope uh, you are uh, well, buddy. Uh, it's great to see you live on the ALN, mate. And, uh, yeah, I uh, I hope everything is travelling well over there. And crowds loving it. Barbecue in the background. Some quiet little uh, internal icing going on around the place. What better? Does not get any better. So, uh, Victoria, they'd be pretty comfortable with where they're sitting at the moment. Eight, four up. And uh, the boys just seem that little bit relaxed. Come over to the South Australian side. Coach Leper has taken him out the back. And there's a bit bit of, uh, it's not stern word, but there's certainly some uh, some let's readjust out here. Um, number one, though, they've got to win this face-off. Yeah, exactly right. As we say so many times, and it is a cliche, but it's a cliche for a reason. It, it does start in the middle, and you, you've got to have your hands on the footy to, to be able to play in your end of the field. And um, they haven't quite done it enough so far in this game, but... Um, as we said earlier, it's not necessarily about coming away with a clean face-off win, just creating that contest, um, putting the Vicks under a little bit of pressure. Um, it sort of went uh, against them a little bit. The Vicks, they were fantastic with that forward press in that second uh, quarter in particular. Um, you know, give them a taste of their own medicine. Absolutely. Put some put some pressure down on their defence. And uh, you know what? It might take a couple of shots where you just let a couple where they're not actually expecting them to happen. And just be ready to, to back that up. Um, still more people joining. Look at this. We've given the shout out and <laughs> everyone's heard. They want to be live and free. And uh, Tracy Scaife says, uh, hi, Tysha Skews and Anthony Coyne, both SA players. Tom Emery says, fire up Reds. Sammy Kilford, the great Sammy Kilford. Big shout out to you, Sam. Uh, one of my boys. Kane Bennett, also one of the Woodville boys. Uh, there. Benny Skews says, loving the commentary, Tony. Watching the further son-in-law. That should be future. I know what spell <laughs> checks like, um, Benny. Watching the future son-in-law, Anthony Coyne, out there. So, uh, oh, a bit of uh, lovers in the air <laughs> every time I walk around. Hey, and why wouldn't it be? Sunsets. Just need a nice little table set up with the, you know, after the, I'll tell you, there's some love going on here. And uh, Ed Pike also watching. Ed's over playing uh, La Cross for Brighton Lacrosse Club at the moment. Got a, got a premiership. Played for Australia, got a premiership with Brighton last year in South Australia. Yeah, great young player, Red Pike. Uh, saw him uh, in his younger days out at Williamstown, and uh, he did a couple of jobs on uh, on us at Footscray. He's uh, yeah, a great. But young But you know talent. what he is? He's a he's a bloody good young lad. Exactly right, Ed. And uh, you know he's uh, he's certainly got his future ahead of him, and we wish him well because he's. Doing a great job is Ed. Well, we've had the whistle from our officials, so we're not far from getting back out there. The Vic boys, well, they were out there a little bit early. They, uh, they're keen to, to get this show back on the road. They want to keep that momentum going. And Dave Mullins says, get into a mullow. So, I mean, there's a, there's one from the family. I maybe maybe wasn't happy uh, with his air Mullins down <laughs> here, but uh, he's got one on the board. Maybe he can, uh, maybe he can triple that uh, in the second half and... Uh, get this back in so South Australia an opportunity and they've changed up in the uh, face off here yeah so McLaughlin uh, he took a, a couple late in that second quarter and, and did well so he's got Lockie McDonald for company now does well to force a little contest but it's going to yeah, be passing Quinty out like a bullet out of a gate good luck that's like the gun being fired yes. and uh, it's, it's it's rebounded and come back the other way great save there from Williams though yeah great little piece on that one but once again the Vicks are going to come away with the the ball off the board. Aaron Batters just couldn't quite reel that one in, so it's going to come away to Plum now. 
Good is, backside cut there from Aaron Batsis, though. Yeah. Parsons Quintia uh, rolls into a little bit of trouble, so steps back. Nice little pace there to deflect oh. it. <laughs> and says, Josh, get off the ground, mate. Yeah. It just chops people for uh, fun, Lucas does. It does. If a wood chop, a good chop wood. <laughs> so ball to be picked up. And uh, Wood picks the ball up, kicks it out to Green. Anthony with the ball over to Coyne. Twisky's on his uh, right-hand side. Twisk looking inside. Mullins working with him. Just, oh, that's popped off the post, I reckon. Yeah, that's the underside of the bar there. Tink, that was very, very tink close. And Tink. Someone better get the red paint out after uh, here. Oh, but uh, great interception with the stick. Yeah, Doyle, good, good little pace there. He's put it ahead to Freeman's advantage. Good He's work come away court. with it himself. Not quite. This ball is uh, evading everyone at the moment. His helmet's gone flying. Who's it going to come to? It's going to sit with Lockie McDonald. But Coyne did a great job there. He's one against two and yeah, then fantastic. one against three. And, Waiting know, for the reinforcements to arrive. As, uh, and uh, as the players off the bench are just uh, deciding which uh, side they're uh, going to have. So Paul. Templeton will use uh, Hall out there. He's got McDonald now. Shot clock down to five. He's going to have to pull the trigger soon. Aaron Batis winds up on that left, just misses high, so the shot clock is going to beat everyone. And that's and that's a better defender because Winner now can pick this ball up. Oh. So it looks like that ball might have been on the quick release there for Jesse Winnan. The Freeman was brave to let it run, and Winnan was all out by himself there. But we just stopped the play from our officials. And uh, Winnan, smart lacrosse player, and uh, it, and and I'm really surprised because look, I coached Jess in some national tournaments and the field games, and in the in the face off, he's a great face off player. So in the box game, why not throw him in there for one or two? You know, if you're going down. Yeah, big body as well. We'll be able to force that contest in there too. Yep. So here's the lefties. The, the triangle of lefties. I'll call them the Bermuda triangle <laughs> of lefties. And there we go, twist. But just running out of space. Five seconds on the shot. Jesse winning. Fires and no damage done there. It looked like Dan Hall in there just uh, trying to give Plack Watson a little bit of a hand. Jumping in behind that one as well. So ball on the outer side here. Hall with momentum. Little bit of uh, shimmy shimmy. Oh, that's a good little feed backwards. That is a fantastic under pressure little shimmy. Just drops it behind him and says, here, go and get this one. Yeah, Dan meant to play a nice little finish there. But uh, Caleb Hall, that's an assist that he'll uh, want to see again. The uh, So Dan doing a fantastic job there just to sort of that uh, understood exactly what Caleb was doing, didn't he? So, so um, yeah. But ball back in the centre. Victoria with the first of the third quarter. And again, just uh, doing it easy out of the face. And one pass, thank you very much. And uh, they've got to stop this flow out of the centre. Yeah, so that was something that uh, had been threatening all the second quarter. They'd been banging down the door with a couple of looks like that. But finally it's paid off for Victoria. Aldred, nice win straight to Hall. And just a, a clever finish. It's, uh, you know, too hard for a keeper to keep someone out like that. Well, that's two in two in 40 seconds. Yep. At yep. the start of a... And there was an opportunity for them. You know, the ball's not dead down here until the uh, defender touches it. So, you know, for Jess to pick it up, put it away, you know, get on that ball. Yeah, so it looks like uh, the South Australians had changed tact a little bit there. They dropped three behind the ball on that occasion. So um, they'd nearly conceded on the, on the face on the off. Face. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's at that point that you just try. Good work there from Coin. Ooh, blindsided oh, there. Big hit <laughs> from Plum. <laughs> and, uh, and Adam's picking himself up. But uh, Mullins, look at this. Three and on three on a, one. There is an uh, advantage call here. Steve Green's got his hand in the air, Penalty so who's going to send off? And that is, uh, that's my man. Lucas Parsons, Quinty uh, off to the box. So probably just maybe a little overzealous with a couple of those checks. Maybe there was a slash in there potentially. So wait for the goal. Cross check. Cross check. Cross check. Two minutes. So uh, Adams will take the ball. So an opportunity here for South Australia to get those couple of quick ones back that uh, Victoria put on the board. So what are they going to do here in this uh, man up? They've got their... So they're right-handed here. So they're looking twisk and uh, leaving on the right hand. Adams up the top. 
Back down to Twist, a little uh, triangle happening on the right-hand side, looking to open up the centre. Looks down the bottom, or oh, just steps. That's a great pass too, but uh, off the foot. And that one's come off the foot and gone out of bounds. So up and over. It's just some discussion between our officials who it came off. So I, I oh, there you go. I, you know, I thought that might have come off a South Australian foot then, but uh, deemed to come off a Victorian foot. Adams, yeah, need a little bit more movement here in this man up. You know, the, 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 the Victorian defenders just aren't having to move at the moment. You know, they're, they're firing big bombs uh, from downtown and this keeper's been uh, really good all night. So uh, a lot more movement needed in that offensive end as the ball comes down into the uh, Victorian offensive end. So Reynolds, he quietened down a little bit towards the back end of that second quarter, but um, still looms deadly for the Victorians. Well, I reckon he got off at half time and just put himself over the gas. <laughs> just, to, just to warm just that warm knife up, up again. Yeah. As, uh, Plum. Oh. Is that found oh, that that's that's what a finish there from Chris Plum? Plummy. I, I had to look around the pole because I didn't think that had gone, but I'll tell you what else went around the pole. It was the ball. Yeah, what a finish there. He, he couldn't have placed that much better there, Chris Plum. He picked the exact part of the pipe that was going to find the, the back of the net. It might have even taken a piece of Williams yeah, and then got, back into the cage potentially. So That's why I looked because I thought, oh, that's got past Brett, but maybe it's hit him and, uh, you know, whatever it is, clever yeah, shot. Great Plum, finish there, though. Plummy gets his uh, three for the night. Short-handed as well for Victoria. They still got Parsons Quinty out in the box, I believe. So yeah, um, You're right. That was that was against the grain in a man-down situation. And they're just looking and, you know, even to push him over the halfway line at that point, you're two-on-one, just turn the ball over. It's over and back. Yeah. Exactly right. So, ball down the bottom corner for Victoria. Quickly moved up to the top. So Caleb Hall feeds Aaron Batis. A couple of nice little backdoor cuts there between those two, but the shot clock will expire before both of them. Reynolds got it off oh, just on the buzzer. Tell you what. Is it going to count? It will. The all clear is given. And Tyler Reynolds, I thought I'd given up on him. I thought the shot clock was going to beat everyone, but... How's that for the awareness? He knew exactly what was happening there. What a finish there from Tyler Reynolds. I told you he'd been off. He'd, he'd, he'd turned the gas on in the kitchen. He'd, he'd heated the knife back up, and uh, the butter's been, uh, <laughs> being uh, parted right now. Fantastic. Well, that's a second short-handed goal for Victoria. Parsons Quinty are still in the box. And I'll tell you what, Gilly, who does an absolutely fantastic job, Scotty Gill, he is, uh, he's looking after us too. He's killing all the mosquitoes coming behind us. Uh, he's not even letting them get to us here, is lucky. Again, another face-off win for Victoria. Ball down the bottom corner. Hole. And, uh, I can see the steam building up on the opposite side of the court because Barson's Quintio's rearing to get back <laughs> out there, but he's run straight off the court. What's he doing to us? I mean, that's that's someone tell him that that's not the straight line he should be running. <laughs> But uh, he's given Ratchy, who's come in like oh. a bull out of a gate. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I've seen those shots in state games on field lacrosse, and they, they do have heat on them. I'm sure they change the uh, complexion of the ball more to an oblong shape rather than a round shape when he throws them sometimes. I agree. I agree. But South Australia, they're going to have to find some, you know, the movement's just not there at the moment. Everyone's looking around, wondering who is going to do the job. And Leeming, he's certainly done a job for his, uh, for his state. And he's certainly put his hand up and he's drawn a penalty here. Yeah, it's looked like uh, Ratchy just got a piece of him there, just a little hole. So, um, But again, when you attack, you put pressure on a defence, all of a sudden you start to create things. And I think, you know, there's four guys out there at that point looking around, watching what Tyler's doing. And, you know, they need to be moving with, with him in unison down there. You know, if you're just going to sit there and watch one person play the game, it's going to be a very long game. Exactly right. And... Uh, Will be interesting what they go with here on the man up. Well, they're back on the left hand side here again. So they got uh, Twisk, Mullins, and Leeming. And Leeming just popping down to uh, an X position at the moment, which is uh, leaving them uh, fairly. Well, that's fair square right in the, the uh, throat there. guard. But good save. And so Dan, Dan Hall this time comes away with the ball. And that's, what, who uh, knew he had? He told me he wasn't going over the halfway line. Oh, here he is. Has he got has he got a handful for the night? He's still got the ball. He's still got the ball. Looks up. That's a great hold. 
I thought Dan Hall might have just uh, might have been a bit jealous of him there. A bit of a hospital pass there. Well, for, Dan uh, to, told to me Tyler he never Reynolds. goes over the halfway line because yeah. that's what the offense is supposed to do. So I don't and know what he was doing down there. Zoning on that bottom corner again. But yeah, how about the hops on Dan Hall getting downfield? That was, uh, I tell you, must, I don't know whether it slopes that way. I'm going to have to go out and run <laughs> down there in a minute. Maybe after the game, just see whether, just how quickly I can get downfield. Because I'll tell you what, Dan, turn back the clock there. <laughs> so win him with the ball. And uh, we need... Still in a man up situation. Timmy Ratchy still in the uh, in the penalty box. Coin comes on. The ball to Leeming. Leeming already with three in the game for South Australia. Kicks it to Josh Wood and just gets picked off. And this is coming back, and it could be coming back with interest because uh, great feed forward uh, just misses the handle of the ball. Yeah, or just a little uh, overzealous on that one for Doyle. But who's going to come up with it now? Players all around this one. It's Victoria, and I think that was Al Glutenay coming up with it on that occasion. Just the experience is a wily character, ball. Al Glutenay. Exactly right. And Al just says, I've done my job, boys. Here, go out and score. So Hall. He's got Plum down in the bottom corner, and uh, just a tip off the stick. Into Williams. Williams pops the ball down, winning. And this is where he normally does it. Now, to keep Jesse winning scoreless in a game, in any game, it's quite an effort, and Victoria have done a good job on him tonight. So Adams steps on, and pick, good pick up there from Cam. The half volley. Twisk. There's just not enough movement for me from South Australia. They're just they're just throwing big bombs, and you know they're not setting those two man games and rolling in and off and getting everyone to uh, move around it. They're just a little bit static in their feet. Oh. Hello. Hail Mary to Travis Kroll. Oh, I'll tell you what, we're going to see that on Monday, I think, with the uh, Super Bowl. <laughs> Bit of the old uh, full field pass there. I think it was definitely on as well there from for Kroll. I was going to say, KC Chiefs and uh, and the Eagles playing yeah. Monday have in the got, Super have Bowl. Have you got one, Tony? Uh, Eagles, mate. Yep. In a heartbeat. Hurt for MVP. Uh, I mean, you know, gamble responsibly. <laughs> Well, did I, just did I tell you I lost my house? <laughs> <laughs> so, so maybe don't follow me in on that. <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> Again, gamble responsibly. Adams with the ball. So the, the Vicks, you know, they, they lead by eight, eight now, Tony. You could probably argue that the result is getting closer and closer to being out of the question. But there's still plenty to play for for South Australia because if you potentially wanted to face off against these guys in a, a final... And a nice little finish there. Great oh, dive clear. across I mean, the We were just goal talking there. about Jesse winning and getting into the action and on cue. Certainly, we'll come back to that question in a second. But, yeah, what a finish there from Jesse winning. That's a way to get yourself into the game. Worked his way down low and find him, uh, fight himself across the crease. But you're right because it can come down in this uh, tournament to to goal percentage. And we've seen, we've seen what the LA presidents have already done. You know, they've got a 12-1 win against Queensland today. Um... Now, South Australia had the 29-7, but, um, you know, these these uh, these wins are going to be, uh, you know, potentially, by God, and a, and a rare win out of the face. So, opportunity, twist, good work there from McLaughlin. I think that probably just shows the professionalism of this Vic outfit. They conceded the face-off, but in the blink of an eye, there were three guys covering the crease there, so... Um, even when they are losing in the middle, they're still backing up each other on the back oh, end. And a little, little piece there so off Dan Hall. He's skidded his way past in, in there as he can, uh, McLaughlin. Just, uh, McLaughlin. So gets a face-off win. Tick. Puts that one down in the super coach. Pops one over the uh, just the right-hand uh, corner and uh, gets on the board. Great work there from McLaughlin. Yeah, just a little graze, I think, off uh, Dan Hall's Clive or elbow pad there, they I reckon. Don't, they don't like those no. goals. <laughs> And just uh, just changed it up enough, but you never know if you uh, if you don't try it. Well, you know what? Again, well, my favourite saying is, if you never throw a ball in the air, you can't catch it. And Aaron Aldridge said, "Well, oh, you can oh, do that. Have a look what <laughs> I can do." Have a look what I can do. I'm going face to face. <laughs> so, uh, thank you very much. As quickly as that, uh, let's do that again, shall we? Yeah, and they'd, uh, you want to dance? <laughs> you probably sucked a couple of the the South Aussie defenders uh, in there where. The last couple of times he attacked, he he brought the ball down. He looked to pass, but he probably bluffed him in that occasion and uh, went all the way. They might not have been expecting that one. Well, he's going. You know what? I'm not on the scoreboard yet. I've done everything else for you, boys. So uh, I may as well just put one on. 
But a quick reply there and uh, just picking pockets in there. He is. I'm taking him travelling with me. If he can pick <laughs> pockets like that, I'll tell you what. We're not paying for too much over the <laughs> ball down the bottom, up the top. Templeton looks across. Reynolds. Now right. he's got Aaron Batsis. Reynolds wants, he wants a handful, doesn't he? Certainly does. Ratchy. Well, I thought that was get out of the way time from Tim Ratchy, but that he's is, just that is get out of the way there. time. <laughs> that's that's uh, <laughs> oh, Timmy Ratchy. <laughs> and there's a foul called on and Tim Ratchy. Foul called on Tim Ratchy. I tell you what, he wasn't comfortable with taking two down at once. He thought, you know what, does that count for three? You know, this could be very interesting if uh, Jesse went in and Tim Ratchy end up in the box together. But the battle but, of the beards. <laughs> yes, hey, they'd just get in there and manscape, wouldn't they? Those two. <laughs> Just a little bit of little bit of product and uh, say, look at what I can do with mine. So the call. Unsportsmanlike, I think. Two minutes. Was it two minutes? It's definitely a two-minute foul. But how about Ratchy just uh, just clearing the space? He was like Moses then, just clearing <laughs> the waves. Clearing and, the, uh, uh, the path. Uh, but uh, did it illegally. So South Australia with an opportunity here for uh, a uh, man up play. Anthony well, Green. One positive for the South Aussies. They haven't been in the penalty box tonight, so. That's a good little look. He looked, he's shaped to shoot then. Oh, good work nice. there from Adams. Adams uh, wears one in the back. And it's going to be a loose ball push. Good call there. Right on the spot there for the uh, black and white. A little bit of better movement there for South Australia. So. Well, I like the fact that he's shaped to shoot. Definitely wasn't shot. Look down, look down, a leaming down the back corner and then recut. So, uh, you know, just, just trying to get something going and I think that movement is what is required you know even late in this game if you can work on it now come later in the tournament you're going to uh, you know benefit from it and who knows you know drag it back by two or three goals here and uh, it could just come in Andy Green on the bottom corner but good look there from Twisk and uh, Keith Nyberg just letting him know about it down there as well you know, I think he thought you know what there's only one 10 out here mate and that's uh, <laughs> got a name on it Green's, Green's the other one with the name on it with 10 Maybe just didn't like the fact he had num his number on. <laughs> so, uh, but but a bit better work down there from South Australia. You know, they, they actually did move and get an opportunity. So, Victoria now with their uh, offensive set. So, not an unusual situation for them uh, on the penalty kill once again. Good save there from Williams. There's a man out the back if they can find him in winning. The pass just over the top. Oh, Who's Watson going to find it? <laughs> That's that one that just doesn't matter where you go. It rolls away from you. Yep. Just hit the corner and uh, trickled away. And the way Jesse chased that down was exactly like that. He said, it's just going to go away from me. He's, he's thinking it's a bit like one of those nights for him. And uh, Plum has the ball up the top. Will they look for the, uh, a quick handful here from uh, my man? He's looking at it. He looks inside. He's up and down, picked up by Coin. Oh, that one's over. There's one for the crowd. Tell you what, if you're in the baseball, that one's taking that one home. <laughs> So a call from the Vic box is 18 on the penalty. So I imagine that this uh, ball will be pretty well protected for the next 20 seconds while they wait for Ratchy to get released from the box. What's the chance of Ratchy sitting uh, top middle if he comes back into the play here and uh, let one loose from the yeah, I restraining be very line? High. I reckon uh, you'd be a brave man to get in his way straight off that box. Just, just run the defence back down the bottom. Just get them all sucked down the bottom. And then Ratchy comes on here. Oh, he's not coming. Come on. Oh, I, th I thought he was going to. Good save there. Oh, inside. Oh, how about the awareness there? Uh, hello, hello. And oh, in the crease. Disallowed again. Well. So he's, <laughs> he's been denied a couple, he's Tyler. He's been denied else. a couple. No, <laughs> we said he uh, four on the night. Thought he had five, thought he had six, but uh, back to four. But I'll tell you what that was. Smart lacrosse. Yeah, just, just been in the right uh, place at the right time and working hard. Exactly right. Work harder, uh, work smarter, not harder, as they say. Well, if you can get on the end of it and put him in, um, why not? And Caleb Hall, what a clever little feed there to Freeman. Good composure not to get off the low-quality shot. So he feeds high to Parsons Kunti. And now Hall it's working that ball around. Who's going to come up with it now? Hall battles winning for it, and it's Caleb Hall that comes up with it now. Meant to play. A little move onto his left. Swings back to the right. He wants a man to come to him, but no one does. So he's just going to have to 
kick it over to Hall. Parsons Quinty out. This is the danger time now. Does he get it free on that left hand? They cut him down well, but Caleb Paul finds that free space. Bang. Clever finish there. Just uh, just uh, filling up uh, the bag at the moment. And, uh, you know, they're just uh, doing it with ease. And it's it's those experienced players that are uh, just fit. You know, the finishes are going really well. Definitely. And you can see the, the, they, the, the South Aussies knew the threat that Parsons Quinty uh, provided there. They pro uh, sent the double, but that just uh, opened up Caleb Paul and he said, thank you very much. I'm going to put that one away as well. William Martin says, doing a good job, Vix. And yes, they are. William Turner says, uh, go Team SA. And let's go Harrison. Uh, Tracy Scape says, good work, Corny. Uh, Matty Liddell, impressive domination by the face-off by the Vix. 23. You are correct, Matty Liddell. Oh, that's oh. going to be an over and back, though. So uh, I get a chance to read a couple more. Kate Thomas watching. Uh, Andy Burford, Lee Haskett, Simon, Alan Frost. Frosty's watching. And the great uh, Glenn Still also watching from South Australia. So uh, good to see you all live and free on the Australian Lacrosse Network. And uh, as Harrison Turner just uh, comes past with a uh, bit of a uh, ice on the hand. and uh, But I'm sure they would uh, not uh, put him out there now with this game. Literally iced by, uh, oh, good look inside. Just just, uh, just missed it. Ten to go. Little uh, flick over. Just pop it down the back corner and time will run out. Oh, Jesse Winnan trying one from uh, well behind. Hey, I've seen him do it before. You know what? <laughs> there's some things I've seen Jesse do that, uh, <laughs> yeah. So uh, ball up the top here for Victoria. Two in the game we're here. Is that uh, what I'm seeing? 30 seconds in the game. Oh, they're well over uh, <laughs> the time. I don't know what oh, clock they're looking at. Great ground ball there from Aaron Battis on the cleanup. He's going to get another crack here. He tries to roll it past Williams. Up to the challenge with the little stick stave there, though. So outlet here. Leeming. Leeming is an outlet. No, just uh, comes off the box. And twists with the ball. Kicks it a winner. 10 seconds, 10 seconds to go in the period. Time clock's not going to matter. Winnan steps inside and uh, pops that one wide. Needs a shot there, but Glute Tanay says no. Happy to hang on to it. And uh, Victoria will run out winners here. Still on three uh, one time. more quarter to go, Tony. Sorry, but, uh... I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> that's, that's what you get when you're... <laughs> I'm, I'm reading comments here <laughs> and paying no attention. So, uh, yeah, three-quarter well, time here at yeah. uh, <laughs> at the Alan Lua field. Yeah, we're, we're pretty close to done, I think, though. The Vicks, uh, they've, they've looked quite classy out there today. They've, uh, they've just extended that lead after a pretty dominant first half. And, um, yeah, they're looking the goods at the moment, that's for sure. Yep, and uh, I'm going to go through the goal scorers for uh, South Australia for that quarter. Uh, and I had Jesse Winham with one with his first and Cam McGoughan with one. So two in that one. And South Australia have scored two, two and two in their last three two, quarters. Two, two. So uh, what about the goal scorers yeah, for Cal the Cal Paul, a nice uh, goal off the good work from Parson Quintia before Dan meant to play, finding his first of the game as well. Aaron Aldred, nice uh, face-off straight out of the middle all the way to the cage. Uh, Tyler Reynolds, well, he just continues to add to his bag. He's got four for the night now. And, Should uh, have six. Yes. <laughs> Plum finding the back of the net once again. So he's got three as well. And Plenty yeah. of uh, experienced campaigners getting the job done out there for Victoria at the moment. Score blossoming out uh, by my count of all that to a 13-6 uh, game. And replays uh, are on, and we hope you're enjoying it. And while the replays are going, let me go to where I was actually had my head in at three-quarter time. I just I love to see who's online. And um, Mark Mangan, the great Mark Mangan online. Uh, Sam Ramsey is also watching. Uh, Tosh Excuse, well, South Australian uh, women's box cross players, under-19 Australian uh, goalkeeper. She's watching uh, back at the hotel. Lockie Russell's watching over in uh, WA. Lockie over in WA? Uh, Williamstown? No, Williamstown. Oh, it's, it starts with a W. <laughs> Sorry, Lockie. Uh, Stacey Appleton watching, Paddy Gray watching. So, uh, yeah, send us, a, uh, send, us a, send us a shout out. We'll try and get to you in the uh, fourth quarter. We love the interaction here on the Australian Lacrosse Network. Love to know that, uh, you know, we're bringing you joy here on a uh, Thursday night. And uh, for most people, there'd be a lot of uh, state league trainings that would just be finishing. 
So yeah, exactly uh, right. Uh, nothing better than finish up some uh, hard pre-season work and get back, chuck on some uh, fantastic quality box lacrosse. And uh, we've got more box lacrosse coming for you, though, over the next uh, couple of days. And uh, I tell you, the action is thick and fast. So uh, tomorrow for the, uh, for the women, we have a, a big game, Western Australia versus South Australia. Uh, and then we've got Queensland versus Victoria tomorrow. That's on the women's side. And on the men's side, there are uh, three big games also. Queensland versus Victoria. Victoria then back up and play the Presidents. And uh, Western Australia, South Australia, which will probably come down to it now, potentially, with the fact that, uh, you know, um, one of those teams is going to have to win. If WA gets up over South Australia, then South Australia will have to beat the LA Presidents. The LA Presidents also looking good for a uh, for a gig. Yeah, plenty on the line. Just uh, while we're about to get out there, Tony, we've got uh, a change in keepers for Victoria. It's uh, Nick Sheedy jumping in between the pipes for this final term. Blake Watson, he uh, has done a good job, and his break for the rest of the night. Well, he certainly has deserved it, and uh, Victoria coming in. So can South Australia just uh, put some uh, put some filler into this uh, scoreline and just get it back to uh, a respectable uh, you know, at the moment we're 13-6 and right there, uh, there's another goal and uh, Victoria and I wasn't even watching who scored that. Yeah. I looked down for two seconds and uh, Victoria scored. It, Just missed that one, but it, yeah, they're scoring with ease. It looked like Timmy Ratch when he was pumping the hands. So they're scoring with ease at the moment, the Vicks. So um, you know, plenty of building, plenty of confidence uh, ahead of a big weekend. Um, they'll be pretty keen to right well, some uh, right is, some this, wrongs from this, a couple of years ago. They're setting a statement at the moment, aren't they? Definitely. And uh, they uh, have come out with an intent to go, you know what, if you're not going to, oh, there we go, just uh, James Mullins just eased up on Chris Plum a little. He was nice to him then. Pumba out the outer side with the ball. Brendan Freeman just kicks it up. Down to the bottom. Aaron Biakis with the ball. Back to Freeman. Five seconds left on the shot clock. And a knockdown. Dangerous oh. little one in there. Cop a, a few little pieces of goalie. Never knows where that one might end up. But South Australia. No danger done. Quick start on the outer side. Yeah, you're right. And um, knocked down, but it came into the, it came back to Freeman. And Freeman actually got a shot away, just missed everything, and the clock runs out. So a ball out with Adams at the moment. Down to Twisk. But it's just probably this has probably been the example, I think, Tony, where we're already 10 seconds down and we haven't really done too too much across the top here for South Australia. The ball's just been kicked across. It's probably been some good defence from Victoria, but um, probably symptomatic of what we've seen throughout the night, I think. And a good save. There you go. It's always the first one when you get on and you're in a, yeah. in a winning team and you're up and about and uh, you get the first shot on and, and save. But you're right. You know what? As I said, there's probably 20 seconds of that 30 seconds is being kept well up above this restraining line and uh, not, uh, not penetrating uh, the Victorian defense. Good knockdown though. Yeah, nice and little looks stick up. There. He's got winning ahead. Just, just needs, needs to, to look up. Needs move to look ball. up. Winning uh, fires and winning doesn't miss. And uh, I tell you what, Coyne did a fantastic job to actually take that pressure, hold the ball. The bench was yelling at him, going, Jesse's ahead, Jesse's ahead, get your head up, get your head up. Found the stick and uh, winning. And Coyne did a great job there to find the uh, stick of Jesse winning. And Jesse winning gets his second. And a classy finish there to, to do it all in the one motion. It could have been a little bit awkward to try and have to turn his body back, but took the ball and shot it in the one motion. Very, uh, you know, sort of classy way to, to put the ball back in the net. You can see the guys who have uh, played this game at the highest level. Exactly and, right. Uh, and they know where everything is. And look, he just not giving the goalkeeper an opportunity to set for a shot because my stick's here. Um, and there we go, South Australia. Twisk, oh, didn't, uh, didn't take the ball with him. But, you know, promising. Got a, uh, got a comp had a competition out there for the ground ball. Plum with the ball. Down the bottom here to Ratch. Ratch, little pop inside. Yeah, so the ball movement's been such a key for Victorian. And once again, Plum trying to find the cutter of 
Yeah, I think that might have been Aaron Baptist there on the crease. Good save there from Williams. And Mullins and man out just once again. Breaks out the back, but just misses the misses the pass. You can see um, the commitment there from Al Gluten. They throwing everything on the line there to put the body into it. So, uh, but you're right. You know, you look at the difference. But you know, you look at the difference between the running pattern of the Victorian offense, and even with that, you know, I mean, Lucas Parsons there like lost the ball, had a shot. But the ability to try and the ability to try and get back on the ball to win it back, yeah, and you, just, but you watch the rotation. Well, it? you watch the rotation of the Victorian offense down there, and they're they're up and about and running, and they're still running. I mean, they're they're now seven, eight goals up, and you come down the offensive here, and South Australia just not quite to, not quite with that same intensity in their offensive end. But that's something I'm sure that uh, you know the coaching staff will speak about. Exactly right. I think probably the yeah, the Victorian pressure has been a, a big key as to why they haven't quite been able to settle down there as well. They've really brought it, uh, probably started a little slowly Victoria, but they brought it really from that second part of the second quarter onwards and um, haven't looked back since. So two on one there and uh, Anthony Green, unlucky, picks the ball up. He's got Aaron Biarcus up the top. Ball back up the top to Hall. Hall. Kicks one down. Walker McDonald with the wind up there. Good save. So it's not going to matter that that one crosses back. And they get another 30. Yep. I tell you, but be good in the cage. Yeah, it's a, a shining light for, for South Aussies from tonight. Plant. Kicks across to McDonald once again. Hall, little feet inside. Pushing the back there on Reynolds. And, and uh, it'll be called. Yeah. Argument to be made whether it was in the side or in the back, but our officials... Have taken the ladder. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm going to say, given our camera angle, I'm saying that's pretty much in the number. It is. But uh, man down here is Jesse uh, Winnan. Heads to the uh, bench, quite dejected with the head down. So I believe this is probably the first power play um, opportunity for Victoria of the night. I'm not sure they've uh, yeah, well, they've been man up so far this evening. Lucky, I'd probably agree with you. I don't. I don't remember a time. When South Australia have set a penalty, so, so. be interesting to see what we uh, what unfolds out there in the next two minutes. Plum, hole, plum, hole. A nice uh, little piece on that one. That'll hurt. Great feed across oh, to Ratchy. How about the pass feed. there from Kayla Ball? Oh, just finds Ratch. absolute laser. I tell you. Ratchy didn't even get a chance to wind his stick up then. He just literally stuck it in and uh, it popped out. Yeah, if you're sitting on the crease and you're getting a pass like that, there's not too much else you can say, but thank you very much. As an offensive player, you're going, yes, please. Yes. <laughs> I'll have two. <laughs> yeah, you're getting fat on that, aren't you? <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> you are. And uh, Ratchy just starting to uh, get to that point too. He is. That's his third of the night. Oh, try that one. We won't go there. So, uh, yeah, something, uh, I guess, Greg Mollison, just another thing for him to be happy about from this evening. One power play, one goal. And uh, and straight back into it. So, and that's probably something that I think the South Australians can learn from is that um, while the Victorians have been able to get inside quite well, um, and that'll be something the South Australians can, can build on, being able to move the keeper, uh, just as we saw there, the crossfield pass really opened up those angles. Caleb Paul nearly had an empty net to, to fire into on that occasion. Um, that's something where I think the, the South Australians can look to improve and really break down um, you know, other teams and potentially Victoria if they meet again. Yes, it's, uh, but this is, uh, this is a key right there, that face-off. And you know what, almost, I tell you, I mean, he's got four, but... They, they come with the, the first use of the ball. And at the moment, uh, certainly yeah. putting his name up for MVP for the uh, Victorian team out of the centre there. Yeah. Aaron Aldridge doing a great job in the middle and there. Just scoring goals for fun at the moment. Great finish there. I think that might have been Travis Kroll on the end of it that was one. was indeed. So we haven't called his name much tonight. But we have now. He's, he's live and free on ALN. <laughs> He'll go back and watch that one a few times, I'd say. Yeah, the Wiley veteran from Alvin. He's, uh, he's been doing that for many a year. As Travis Kroll. And uh, just a, a change in the uh, guard, so to speak, in the face. 
Yeah, so Lockie McDonald is, uh, and that's one well, of he's the... He's taken a couple tonight, hasn't he, Yeah, one, one, one of the benefits for, that Greg Mollison has, isn't it, that he's got a couple of options in, you know, both Aldred and, uh, and McDonald at his disposal. Ball down, 2B1. And uh, I haven't been taking stats of face-off wins, unfortunately, Lockie. But um, I'm just saying that uh, I can count on the palm of my hand, on the palm of my hand, <laughs> potentially how many uh, yes I have. Um, it, it'd be at, at <laughs> least 90 plus percent, I would have thought, yeah. for the Victorians. Yeah. And, and having first use of the ball, it, it makes it massive. It doesn't matter what lacrosse you play. Having first uh, use of the ball as we see a helmet come off there. Oh, bang! Oh, lined him up and Rubbing put him away. Rubbing his racing out here. Wood just uh, gets uh, a little bit of uh, love, should we say? That's yeah. all you can call it. Oh, that bang! There's another one. He's, he's got a magnet for <laughs> it. Does Lucas <laughs> yeah. Parsons? Couldn't Lucas he, yeah. Parsons. He is. Uh, he's giving cuddles everywhere. The, the Steve Green, uh, he's seen too much of that, so he's just going to send him off for a couple of minutes. I thought they were, they were all clean I mean, out I, there. I, to be honest, yeah, I didn't see too much in that. but uh, Maybe some boarding potentially, but, yeah. uh, but I, wait for the call. Uh, you know what? Again, sometimes when you play on the edge, sometimes your toe goes over it. Yes. It does. So Winnan kicks the ball up here to Twisk. Kicks it there to uh, Mullins. Twisk, Mullins. Let's do the twisk again. Uh, so lefties and uh, they are uh, man up here, I'm sure. And uh, playing a bit like... Uh, so there's uh, one there, Leeming. Four to be one, and uh, yeah, you don't want to see anything untowards at this stage of the game now. As the uh, as the clock runs out, you know what? Again, it's it's really done and dusted. You yeah, know, we exactly don't want right. to see any any untoward because you can sometimes when you get to this point in the games where uh, there's a little bit of feeling starts to happen. I mean, it is SA Vic, so I'm, what am I saying, Tony? <laughs> yeah, definitely understand what uh, what you mean, though. But uh, yeah, the game's been played in pretty great spirit so far, I think. So. I'm just really impressed with the movement in the offense here. They're, they're, oh, little little tap there from Hall on uh, McLaughlin. And uh, in the crease, no goal. I'll and tell you what, how many? That's three. His... <laughs> that's three. I mean, I'll tell you. He's nearly got as many scored as he does denied. Yep. And we've got a timeout called South Australia. So, uh, man in the box here. They'll be, they're in a man-up situation. 22 seconds to go on the shot clock. Timeout called from South Australia, and uh, they, what can uh, the coaches draw up here to uh, just get another one back? Yeah. So you touched on it earlier, Tony, but if you're thinking about MVP, who uh, who's taking your fancy? Look, I think for uh, oh, it's a toss up for me on the Victorian side now. I mean, face off's been fantastic, so you know you can't go past two three. And that's a great number to read out, <laughs> 23. Um, I mean, four goals, three disallowed. You know, I mean, and 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 did it when it was early and the game was on the line. The face-off's been fantastic. For me, flick, flick, flip of a coin there. On the South Australian end, I mean, Leeming probably with the three goals has been a shining light down in offence. Um, Brett Williams has taken a massive amount of shots with a great, uh, you know, and potentially puts his name up. I know, I know there's a few goals going in, but, um, you know, across the board, Mullins has certainly tried hard. Um, yeah, so, I, I don't know. I, I don't think uh, the South Australian boys will really care who gets it. Yeah, for sure. Well, uh, at the very least, they'll have plenty to review after this one and... Um and what about your thoughts? Of notes. Yeah, I agree with uh, with the Victorians. I think um, probably probably Aldred in the middle. Um, just yeah, sneaks. Yeah, just sneaks. I yep. think the the way that oh, what oh, a shot there. Bang. Back the twist. Just interrupted. Tell us. you what, which coach drew that up? We're just uh, waiting to see the uh, <laughs> take the pat on the back from that. Tell you that's why you call a timeout, isn't it? Exactly right. Well, that's that's twice <laughs> I think they've that's done twice. that. Straight out of the timeout. Uh, 
Maybe Anthony Falapra will be looking for some unlimited timeouts in the next say, a couple of games. So, Kudos to uh, Anthony Falapra there. Great <laughs> timeout call. Great yeah. play drawn up, and uh, that's the way he drew it up. He's just showing me the board. Nice so, finish, uh, yeah, great job. And that's, what you, that's why you call a timeout, isn't it? But exactly straight away. Right. But, uh, yeah, I think from what we've just seen, exactly right there, I think if you if you have to having to decide, probably what we just saw there from Aaron Aldred might uh, might be the reason why. Um, well, yeah, I mean, a, you're right. He's he's taken every, well, nearly or well, ninety percent of the face-offs, and the ones he's won, the ones he's taken, he, I'd say he's lost one if you're lucky in a contest, but probably got there. Yeah. Um, and he's, he's just he's heard us talking. I think. <laughs> exactly <laughs> right. Maybe uh, Peter Cross got him a bit fired up. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm, no wonder I'd be carrying the drinks when people are buying them for you at the end of the <laughs> night, I'd say. Exactly Crossy. right. But so, uh, uh, yeah, for, for SA, I think, yeah, Brett Williams has, has done a good job in uh, trying circumstances, especially in this, this second half, as things have sort of snowballed a little bit. Well, with the amount of movement in front of him like this, he's constantly getting screened, isn't he? So some of these shots are always going to be harder to stop because there's always something coming through your vision. And... Uh, and just so many uh, repeat efforts that the Victorians have had tonight. That's, that's been a standout. That um, just really building that pro uh, pressure and keeping the momentum on. Um, it's been a, a key part of the reason why they they've been so dominant this evening. Yep, absolutely. So South Australia, but Twisky, Twisky wasn't lying down there. He's definitely not. Um, and they've just shut winning off up the top, so they don't care that he's uh, a great pick up there from Twisk again. But uh, ball down the back. At least some, at least some uh, defensive pressure to uh, just try and keep it in. Ball out of the outer side. Just popped. Oh, here he is again. Thank you very much. There's my handful of butter. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks like he's got all the time in the world, Tyler Reynolds, when he's on that crease. Everything is moving in slow motion around him. That's what it looks like. Just... Uh, has time for a couple of fakes and a clever little finish there. Well, he's just gone to Aldred. You reckon you've got it? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's you reckon good, it's yours? It's a good point. You know what? <laughs> you know, and, and, and we'll change the face up here. Just you know, <laughs> just remember who scored last. And five goals in a in a uh, in any tournament in lacrosse is very good. But uh, he, yeah, very good tonight. Ratch just solo party trick. And he was prolific in the Victorian season as well, Tyler Reynolds. He, um, in a team that probably struggled a little bit at times, you know, regularly three, four, five goals. Um, you know, he had a great season and continued that out here tonight. Well, it's, it's, it's always a sign of a good player, isn't it? When they look slow out there. Like, it looks like, the move, looks like everything's moving slowly around them. And it's a, as a coach, you know, and I'd like to think a fairly good judge of lacrosse players, it is, it is exactly that. You know, you see them almost moving in slow motion and yet they're doing, they're not. Yeah. But Just, yeah, so much time. So ball with McLaughlin. Down the back. Good cut there by Young Green. Leeming. He's, he's, battled, he's battled hard tonight, has uh, Leeming. But this is, uh, this is, uh, this is just, uh, and look, but everything's at pace, isn't it? Everything's just... Uh, Bang, bang, bang. Oh, unlucky there. Smart. Nice shot from Gluten, eh? Yeah. He would have loved that too, Al. Yeah, yeah absolutely. No one, Al. No one, Al. He would have been celebrating that uh, probably till uh, the next time I saw him. <laughs> yeah, smart awareness there from winning just to keep it out, though. Yep. So try the little trick play. Turn two into 22. Twisk. Eight seconds. Winning. Fires. Oh, twist on the doorstep, pop! Oh, oh, nice finish little there. shovel, eh? Yeah. Hey, just, just some slough, slough stuff at the moment from Twisky. Yeah, just uh, you know, coming away from this one with a, a little bit of momentum, a little bit of uh, you know, positives to take out of this one. Well, the positive is that's the that's the first quarter that South Australia have got more than two goals. They've been two, two, yes. and two. So uh, you know they've they've at least. Kept the foot on the uh, on the accelerator, which is good to see. It is, and uh, and our uh, potential Victorian joint man of the matches are just uh, out here again. He goes right, you know. Let's get one for me. Winning. 
haven't seen a whole lot of Keith Nyberg out there. He's sort of featured prominently in the in the man downs, but he just does his job quietly, um, working hard in there. But uh, yeah, another part of this great very feed. experienced team. That is a great feed. It's an experienced player to a, a young gun right there. And Aaron Biarcus, I reckon that's his second for the night, is it? No, first for the night. That might be. Yeah, Marcus Aaron Batsis, a great finish there. Sorry, Aaron Batsis. How do you say that? Aaron Batsis? Aaron Batsis. See? <laughs> Dyslexia. Um, but, yeah, you're right. The the feed from, I think that was Plum there. <laughs> that was, so. that was, you know what? There's, there's just... Yeah. Sometimes there isn't enough words to describe uh, an action, and that was one of them. Because he just put him in the right place. You know, the goalie has to has to has to bite that to be able to get it. And Pumba with the ball. Freeman, bang! Oh, he's one of my boys too, <laughs> Freeman. Oh, you know what? I've got a lot of time for Pumba. And the amount of work he's done both on his body and the running and everything he's done, I mean, he's now got a national championship on the field. He's now got, you know, the potential for one here plus the last. I mean... You know, kudos. You work hard, get results. It's fantastic to see, isn't it? And um, you know, a guy that uh, you know, when he was steaming at you in the past, you used to have to look out uh, a really solid body. Well, he had a solid body, didn't exactly he? right. But he's still got that strength. But he just moves so much lighter on his feet now, the and speed is it covers uh, the ground so well. So, and they're just they're just and on the buzzer on the buzzer. That's the second one. Lockie McDonald. Lockie McDonald uh, will put that one away. So that's that's two goals for the game that right on the buzzer for Victoria. Yep. And uh, but you know what, South Australia. The good thing is, you know what, they get to reset. Come and have a look. You know, Victoria have obviously said, well, we didn't play yesterday, and and South Australia coming off a game yesterday. So it's always always interesting once you uh, once you get out there and you know get some some miles into the legs how how you pull up but um, you know South Australia will hold their head up here and they'll come out they'll uh, have another couple of uh, games over the next couple of days and, and they'll get to reset you know they need to beat Western Australia tomorrow that's a that's a must um, and then the presidents are probably looming as uh, and you know what I'm looking forward to the presidents versus the Victoria well, I, think game we'll, I think we'll learn a lot from that Victoria presidents game so um you know, like I, I wouldn't be putting a line through that president's side from what I saw this afternoon. That's uh, there's a few good players out there, and they seem to be clicking well. Rick Benedict's the coach as well, so um, oh, there's some experience right there. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> so um, that that'll be an interesting contest that one. Uh, but you're right, WASA tomorrow, plenty to play for. Um, you can see um, just the SA guys, just a little bit of disappointment out there. But as you said, Tony, plenty to build on, and um, a big, big big game that you'll be able to watch live here on ALN tomorrow night. There is, uh, and I and, uh, haven't seen a program yet, but we are going to try and bring you as much lacrosse tomorrow and the next day and the next day that you can physically fit into your bag because uh, we're here and why we're here, we may as well be uh, just doing something. So, and I'll tell you what, I'm going to have my voice. I don't care whether I do 13 games. But, uh, <laughs> Scotty Gill might. <laughs> But uh, fantastic job there from the Victorians tonight, and um, congratulations to them. And uh, the South Australia, you know, they did show some uh, promise, and early on there was some real, but uh, I think they're going to go and have a look at that and just work on their movement and offense. And Victoria did it except exceptionally well. Definitely. So, And we might, while they're shaking hands, mate, uh, let's go through the goal scorers uh, for the uh, game. Yeah, so Victoria, plenty of goals out there. Caleb Paul, he finished with three. Tim Ratchie also had a, a good second half. He finished with three. Lockie McDonald, last uh, goal of the game with one. Lucas Parsons, Quintia, one. Aaron Batsis, one. Meant to play one. Freeman, one. Aldred, potentially MVP, two goals. Reynolds, one, two, three, four, five goals and probably another three, three disallowed. disallowed. Yep. Chris Plum, three. And Travis Kroll, the single. It's a, that's a fair uh, read there. That's why I got you to do it. <laughs> uh, and on the South Australian side, we had Jesse Winnan with uh, with two. We had uh, Cam McLaughlin with one. Uh, we had James Mullins with one. Uh, Tyler Leeming got three. And uh, Nathan Twisk just at the end there. Just uh, two nice last quarter goals. A couple done just to show, look, I can do this. <laughs> and um, and I'm sure as the uh, as the weekend goes on, 
there'll be more and more scoring here and uh, they've got the MVP. So we'll see how close we are. I'm, uh, well, South Australia, Brett Williams or Coin for me. I think Coin did some really good work. You know, Lehman got three, but I think up and down, there were some really good carries. Um, just as an out there one. And then uh, for Victoria, well, you know, we're probably on the same two. Just a flip of the coin. Yeah. So uh, the coach is just conferring out there. We'll just uh, wait for the uh, action to uh, commence as uh, the replays still continue. You know what? And that's what I love to see. You know what? You've just gone down in a game. And as a coach, you know what? Look at the embrace that the SA boys have uh, got on there. Yeah, it's great to see. You know what? That that shows a closeness to uh, what they do. Yep. And there we go. So, Brady Williams with the MVP for uh, South Australia. So, well deserved. Yeah, copped a battering out there today, but, uh, yeah, stood up to a, a plenty of pressure. There we go. So, uh, toss of the coin went the way of uh, Aldridge. And... Aaron Aldridge did a, a fantastic job. Uh, I'm sure Tyler Reynolds will be walking away with uh, with an MVP medal all around his neck at some point this well, week I'll from what you, we saw tonight. I'll tell you what he has got. He's got a new fan. <laughs> and, uh, and a new nickname. And I'm easily swung. So, yeah. Oh, I've got to have to Hot Knife, I'm going to call him. <laughs> and uh, that's his nickname from now on, Hot Knife. Um, but, yeah, great job from uh, both South Australia and Victoria. And congratulations to both sides. To the, to the referees, did a great job tonight under some, uh, you know, pressure out there at times. Uh, to our man on the camera up there, Ben. He's done a fantastic job just being up there. I've, you know what, I'd, I'd have a nosebleed up there <laughs> if I was that eye. And, uh, and, I mean, to Alan Lewis, uh, box court. I mean, that's the star of the show, isn't it, tonight? To Scotty Gill. Fantastic uh, to... Uh, he just doesn't miss a beat, Scott Gill. He really doesn't. And we don't get to talk uh, this much... Um, this many good words if he's not around. Exactly and right. It's been yeah, fantastic, it a fantastic for the job, so. first time... Uh, Lockie Williams to uh, commentate with you on the ALN. No, thank you, Tony. Yeah, looking forward to uh, yeah, a great night all across and uh, looking forward to a great couple of days coming up uh, here at the Alan Lua Box Court. And uh, stay tuned tomorrow on the Australian Lacrosse Network because we have lots more lacrosse coming to you live and free. And uh, so get uh, on to the ALN. Have a look at the uh, games above and uh, we'll be back. And uh, until the sticks are swinging, I've been Tony Watts and this has been the Australian Lacrosse Network.